the farm must grow and fall has uh fall has fallen or whatever the kids say these days um so fall has begun and everything is dead so apparently you can still get crops in the fall though so let's go ahead and do that we know a little bit more about the game now and i feel more justified in all of my crazy stuff that i'm doing i think um hmm spice berry acorn chat what should we get for crops because so far everything in this field has died everything is dead it won't come back to life oh we can also get rid of these things these horrible level one bad tier sprinklers yeah those these weren't very good i'm thinking like everything that you told me last time was pretty much optimal so that was great um, so I'm thinking we could do a lot of that stuff. Like, basically everything that you told me last time. Again, cranberries and pumpkins? We'll probably do... Let's do, like, a healthy combo of both of them. Yeah, like a healthy combo. Do cranberries grow the same way as, um, blueberries did? Because I rather enjoyed that. I thought it was a good time. Um, cranberries are the blueberries of fall. Ooh, I really enjoyed that. Let's go ahead and do that again. Yeah, that feels nice. I thought that it was just really satisfying to, like, rifle through the blueberries and pick them all out. Um, like, this game is just bringing back insane amounts of, like, um, sensory pleasure to me. You know? Yams. Yes. Oh, yes, this is another Robert Ellison reference, right? Plant in summer or fall takes eight days to produce large sunflower. Yields more seeds at the harvest. Oh my god, let's just plant a bit of everything, because I really enjoyed this. Like, now... Amaranth! Oh wait, I thought that was like the streamer. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what the hell? On your farm to start a new patch of grass. Grass starter recipe, wheat flour. Hang on a second. Plant these in the fall. Uh, sugar adds sweetness to pastries and... No, I don't need any of this. I don't need any of this, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, look, I can even buy back my melons. Thank God, I've wanted these melons back forever. Okay, now we just go for pumpkin seeds like crazy. Like I'm a crazy person who needs more pumpkins. Ah, the farm must grow. <laughs> okay, uh, wait a minute. You, want, you were telling me about cranberry. Okay, there we go. The farm must grow. I could probably do this in a more efficient manner, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, 53 of each of uh, those. All right, this is going to yield a lot of money. Do fruit trees grow? Into I am just like, I am beside myself. How do people automate their crop growth and production as the game goes on? The farm must grow. The farm must grow. Oh, and we should also probably get that farm expansion from Robin. Let's go over there. I think that would be useful because, um... Tom Nook must grow. Tom Nook must grow wealthier. <laughs> I was playing like Animal Crossing Factorio, and it was a great time. Man, Tom Nook might be like the original used car salesman. What do you think of that, guys? I was getting those vibes. I've been trying to fit in with the Gen Z, so I've been getting vibes lately. Um, vibe. I've been vibing. And and vibing and I just can't vibe. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I think it's funny the way that Gen Z talks. <laughs> Why is I don't mean like bad funny. I mean it is kind of bad funny at times, I guess. But like, you know, you know I like it even if it is bad funny at times. Here we go. Uh, good. Three days until the farm farm must grow. <laughs> the farm must grow. Why can't I buy something else? Wait a minute, I need to leave and get out and then come back. Okay, here we go. Why are you trying to sell me this? I Oh, because I can't buy the coop while you're upgrading my house. Okay, I understand now. I'm a smooth brain. I actually, I'm not a smooth brain. I'm just a pixelated brain, which is even worse, perhaps. The mysterious key. Leave a rainbow shell box at the train platform. Was that the thing with the... um? Man, there's so many goddamn secrets in this game. I love this game. Like, I cannot lie. If I were on a plane ride to, like, Timbuktu, I would never run out of things to do in this game because there is quite a lot, and I do like it. 68 pumpkins now? 
Do I have 68 pumpkins? Do you think I'll get to them all? Cooking recipes. So you start cooking recipes for the mines. Well, the funny part is, like, I, I just feel like I've had a nice time playing this game lately because I've been on, like... It's weird. Like, I've been on a major health kick lately, and it's it's got me in a good mood. I gotta recommend... I gotta recommend going on a health kick. But yeah, like, uh... Cooking your own food. I One of my friends, like, started gathering her own food, and I'm just like, this is such a neat idea. It's kind of crazy. I'd never thought of that before, but I was just like, oh, this is wild and amazing. Look at this. Look at this crap. Okay, I think we should do this. Yeah, gathering your own food. I was like, this is a wild thing. Apparently, there's just some stuff that you can't get in grocery stores. Like, what a... <laughs> what an absolutely amazing realization. But yeah, like, um... What is it? I mean, back to, like, my philosophy on gaming. I feel like if gaming isn't worth doing, then life probably isn't worth living. And that's not to say that, like, oh, I hate life, like, gaming is great, but gaming... I think I've given you guys this talk enough times, but this is basically, like, the whole reason I'm on YouTube. is just to say that, like, or I feel like that this is kind of my mission, is that, look, like, a lot of people waste their lives just doing things that are ends, or, like, I've kind of nefariously labeled them all as transactions lately, which sometimes I, I realize is like, is kind of turning it into this nefarious thing. Like a lot, but a lot of people are forced to spend a lot of their time trading time for resources in some way. And I feel like that gaming is just this thing that's like the total opposite of that. It's almost like doodling or drawing or just like something simple. But what is that all an end for in life? Is just everything that we do a transaction? I don't know. So, the farming, anyway, I think is a beautiful thing because it's like, it is something that is pleasurable unto itself, but it also feeds you and your family. So maybe, maybe ironically, like, I game, I got into this philosophical debate today, too, with a friend who's like, oh yeah, you make videos for a living, like, this is kind of wild. Like, of course you would think that gaming is good, but I still wonder if I would hold that opinion. But also, too, we started talking about some crazy, super competitive games, too. It's just wild. But also, it's interesting. I don't know, like, yeah, I can't help but philosophically analyze everything. It's just, uh, it's interesting. But Stardew, I think, is a good game for that, because I think there's something about the agrarian life that's, like, that necessarily brings that out. Um, the agrarian life. <laughs> ah, the agrarian life! <laughs> it's a good time, though. Yeah, and, like, um... I don't know, there's tons of things like this. It's not just gaming. I, it, it applies to more stuff. I just feel like that that's the thing that I can't help but think about whenever I think about... Uh, I don't know, like the activities that I enjoy. Like even... Oh, I don't know. You could do it with tons of things. Even with things that are kind of ends unto themselves. Like most activities that you do give you some amount of pleasure. People aren't just out there like eating garbage. Because that... I mean, unless if like... Mm, well, there are exceptions. I don't know. Yeah. What's my favorite recipe? I haven't done anything in the game. Oh, I've been trying stuff in real life now, though, more. Like, just more cooking. I don't know what it was. I I used to eat, like, very simple dinners. I guess it was, like, over the last year or so when I was... Like, I was spending a lot of time on making videos, and I've just kind of started to get out of that. I realized, like, I'm a little bit shell-shocked in some ways in my life. Like, I've been spending so much time making videos, and I loved learning the process, but now I'm trying to teach it to more editors. So for me right now, I'm sort of at the phase of like, oh, okay, there's more to life than just kind of this constant, like, uh, grind, which is kind of odd. Like, YouTube had become that for me in a way. And I was loving it, too. Like, I was really liking it. But now I just feel happier that I get to work with more people. Yeah, like, I think you need a variety of activities. You need, like, a variety of not only, like, for example, social activities during your week just to maintain sanity. I think this is happening in a post-COVID world to a lot of people. But also, like, you require a lot of, um, I don't know, just, like, very different things. So many of our jobs, especially in, like, I don't want to sound, like, vilifying here, but, like, so many jobs are specialized. And you find yourself doing the same thing over and over again until you just can't do it no more, as they say. You know what I mean? Um, like, you probably have a job where you do a thing. Like, I do too. And I did in the past. In my other jobs, I did a thing. But it's rare to find something where you can do a lot of things. And I think 
probably cultivating that leads to greater happiness. But I'm like, yeah, I, I think Stardew Valley maybe is a lesson in that, in that you aren't just farming. Otherwise, we turn into some sort of farming ant, and that is not as pleasurable, perhaps, as being an adventurer. I'm multifaceted as a human. Growing potatoes. Factorio has come to have the same feeling for... The factory must grow. Factorio will never be the same. The factory must always grow. Here we go. Grows so many blueberries. Honestly, like, the cranberries are perhaps the most satisfying vegetable. Um, they're not a vegetable. But maybe that's why they're the most satisfying of the vegetables, of course. <laughs> is what I meant to say. I gotta be careful here. We don't want to let nature get too close. Here we go. Bad things happen when nature gets too close. Fire. Forest fires. They can burn. How am I going with this? Why did I go all Smokey the Bear on you for a second there? <laughs> Even though modern farming is industrial. Yeah, perhaps that's like the separation between... You know, like we've lost a lot of these things in our society, I suppose. I mean, that's sort of like... That's been the nature of progress throughout time. It's not like that it ended at agriculture. Like... It probably existed since, well, since the cavemen, you know? <laughs> Don't you hate it when some guy starts talking about the cavemen like he knows them? I was thinking about, like, I, I think about that a lot. Now. I'm like, well, I wonder if the cavemen did it like that. <laughs> like, why do I do that? That's such a silly thing. Do you ever find yourself doing that? Uh, there's a reason why long-time long learned people thought only farming can lead to nation's wealth growth. Growing things out of nothing. Hmm. Oh, that's an interesting thought. That, like, the most early agricultural na nations. Sometimes, though, sometimes I get, like, a little bit of Dunning-Kruger effect when I read chat with you guys. Like, or we come upon, like, confirmation. Maybe it's not... It's just some sort of cognitive bias I always feel is in the air when I'm, like, getting ideas and gaining momentum off of Twitch chat. Like, yes! What you just said must be right! Sick, but enjoying watching <laughs> oh, the my God. Hey, I hope you feel better. Hey, Nova Jean, thank you very much for the two months. Oh, no, I'm sorry that you're sick. I hope you feel better soon. Hey, DJ, how's it going? A little more Stardew action. How's that feel? Hmm. Cavemen be wild. Hey, I've never heard about this. What is that Gen Z? Teach me some of the Gen Z talk. I'm going to regret asking this. <laughs> Gen Z be wilding? <laughs> what does that mean? I, or is it is it too, like, heinous for me to ask about? You... Decrepit, you, uh, not decrepit, that would be the wrong word to describe this. You, uh, perverse young people, you, uh, you corrupt, no, the youth wouldn't really be corrupt. Oh, look at that! Ah, I like that. I like that. Mm, don't you like that? You love to see it. Oh, it's Robin just hitting my house. She's hiding behind a tree again, are we? I think the cavemen would be better than how we... You think it would be better to go back to monkey? I think we should go back to monkey, guys. <laughs> I mean, they didn't have running water, though, too, so that would have kind of sucked. I think maybe it was more or less the same, you know? Monkey. I returned to monkey. Wouldn't that be funny if you just had an option? Like, well, would you like to live in modern society as it is? Or would you like to return to monkey? <laughs> And then you put on a VR headset that just puts you into, like, a, a caveman. Like, we try to preserve the way things were in times past. Should things go awry in our society. This sounds like the, the plot of a Kurt Vonnegut story or, like, some sort of fantastic sci-fi novel. I apologize for just the random stream of thoughts. This is what comes in when I start farming. And it, it, it can't stop. As the, no, Gen Z doesn't even say that. No cap equals no lie. Thank you. I did know that one. Capping existed before Gen Z, though. Uh, P, uh, B, B, C, that's what that actually stands for in, like, dating. Before capping. Yeah. It's not before Christ. It was before lying. Term Delulu means delusion? Uh, that sounds made up. Is that a real thing? <laughs> Are you making that up? <laughs> just, I've never, it just sounds so silly. 
Like, it sounds like something that old people would say. You ever get to that? Like, they come around full circle? I don't know what else to talk. I think about what the way that Gen Z talks when I'm watering the crops. Because I have nothing else to think about. So when I don't think about that, I think about Gen Z. Oh, your consciousness is leaking. What's... Oh, really? Hmm. Delilah. Well, you know the Del the name Dolores means, like, sorrows. Like, don't... If, if somebody... The, if you meet somebody named Dolores who's in a bad mood, don't just, like, spit that fact at him, you know? Like, actually, your name means sorrows. <laughs> so you deserve to feel sad, you know? Although that would be a funny prank. Um, it would be probably... It would probably harm your relationship with this Dolores of whom you speak. This is such a beautiful farm. The way that everything comes together. I love it. I love our farm. The farm must grow. Um, what are we at? We're at 10 a.m. It's time to eat. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. I'm going to eat a, a whole berry. Where are we at? My E is dropping. More spice berry. More room for the farm to grow. Uh, we should probably try to get a little bit deeper in the mine. Although, like, are we just kind of getting deeper and deeper in the mine? I said I wanted to upgrade the farm. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think, what do you think I should be doing next with this farm? I feel like we've got all of this stuff. Did we invest in cranberries for the cash? Yeah, mainly for the cash. Um, yeah, man, did it for the cash. Every day I play the game. I wake up, I play the game. I go to sleep, I play the game. I do it for, no, I do it for the love of the game. I don't do it for the cash. Um, ooh, clams. Ooh, geodes. Very exciting. Very exciting. Amet, uh, amethyst. I've never actually heard it pronounced again, unfortunately. Refined quartz. Um, didn't we have refined quartz for something I want to say? Ooh, mixed seeds. Surprises abound. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, noom, 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 noom. I might as well go through this. I don't really... I suppose that it'll give me fall seeds if they're mixed seeds, right? Won't it? Shouldn't it? Winter root. Didn't we... We have all of this. Coop barn, but we also need a silo. Start getting the animal game on. Yeah, I'm thinking that would be a good idea. You're right. What I think is funny is that you can still actually grow crops in the winter. Like, I didn't expect this at all. Refined quartz is good for tier 2 sprinklers. Ah, thank you very much for that. Yeah, that would be another thing that we could go for. Um, we could either do that through money or... We, we gotta get to like 80 in order to get to the gold, right? I want to know where the gold at. Earth crystal, here we go. Slime, um... You know, let's bring... We could bring a big inventory of stuff back to that museum spot. That might be fun. These are in the summer. Man, practically everything. Ooh, blacksmith could break this open. That's cool. We go to the blacksmith. Maybe the magnet ring I'll sell as well. Alamite seeds. That's good. Good stuff. Okay, here, let's put these in. I know this is going to slightly bother me, but this patch is going to get grown. And like, ah, oh man, you know, I haven't synced up all my blueberry growing seasons. I really loved that in the last growing season when I had the blueberries all there to just, to, like... There was just something really satisfying about harvesting all the blueberries at once. I don't know what it is. Like, uh... Yeah, I felt like I had actually grown fruit. <laughs> this game gives you that feeling. Why aren't you supposed to be working on my house? I'm paying you! Oh, you can dig up the worms? Oh, cool, thank you. New special orders board. Okay, Robin and I built it from scratch. Man, this game really is meant to be played over multiple years. Um, Lewis, all you did was hold the nails. <laughs> Did he just poop him? I think he just pooped. Ignore her. Now let me explain. You see, with Name Farm back in business, the local economy has really been picking up. As a result, some of the local townsfolk have been asking me for a way to source local ingredients for their businesses or personal projects. So Robin and I came up with the idea of a new special orders board where people can post bigger jobs than would, would make sense for the old billboards inside Pierre's. Yeah, for example, I plan on requesting some hardwood for a bed I want to make. 
I won't put you up on the spot, but if you want to help me out, you can just accept the job from this board. Uh, bed turns out, well, I'll start. Okay, so you could do, like, basically, uh, quests. Side quests. Looking for- I look forward to helping! I love this. What a great idea. I'm sure I will follow through on this along with my list of other tasks. This game is so much like real life. Can we say that you're on board? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a zinger. Oh, uh, designated laughter. Ha! Uh, I'm sure you're busy so we won't keep away from your work any longer. As always, I appreciate your willingness to contribute. Here we go. Take care, AA. <laughs> oh my gosh, so funny. Wow, very funny. Quests on the board unlock new stuff. Stardew Valley is so much like real life. Like, oh, I'll just add it to the end of my million things to do to-do list. I'm sure I'll get to the end of that someday, but not before you're just disappointed in me and it seems like I've forgotten about that. Oh my god, this game is getting just so real. I hate it. I hate real life. Ah! Sorry. I briefly, uh, imploded there for a second. Hey, do the trees grow near other trees? It's like there's so many questions. This does happen in my own real life. Do you guys ever take notes to yourself or, like, you try to collect ideas? I tried doing this years back when I was, when I got my first job. I realized, like, after I was a student, I might as well, because I had no time left during the days, so I just started, like, um, writing down ideas that I had to myself that I never had time to fully explore due to, like, the amount of time that I had to put toward work. And that list of things is, like, thousands of pages long now. I would have to live multiple lifetimes in order to explore all of the things I'm interested in. Like, just, it sucks. I hate it. You know, I wish I could, but I can't, and it makes me sad. Wooded Crayon also. Thank you very much for the Prime. Most recent patch, but the patch came out for PC about a year ago. Oh, the rewards are- Oh, so maybe it's like this community center. Oh, alright, well, thank you for combating my, uh, inherent urge towards cynicism. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. You guys are here, and you help me, and I- I don't know why I say that. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Wild Roar. Wild Roar. Are you like a wild drawer? Like, not a domesticated drawer? Mm, edgy. Have I accepted rewards and my completed quests on the way? Also, be, should be in the journal tab. Oh, cool. Um, I'm not sure. I think I've done some of them. I want to say that I have. We really didn't get far in all of them, because I just felt like I wanted to get most of the game's normal stuff before I got to all the quests. But then I realized that the quests just weren't enough, and then, you know, life happens, and you get confused, and... Okay, here we go, though. We're gonna get some rewards for... I've contributed. This guy really looks like a bartender I know if he would wear a... Wait a minute. Why are you just asking for things, sir? I thought you were supposed to give me a reward for giving to the museum. Not that I was looking for one, but... Alright, whatever. Goodbye. Live your life. I don't have time for wooing all of these women. Yeah, it's like, you know, it, it is, but I, it's a great game because it's like real life and it gives you the same existential horror as real life does. Like, oh no, I won't have enough time to do that with you at that time. I need to, uh, I have to go water my plant or something like that. I mean, that would be a pretty lame excuse. I have to go water my... Sorry, I can't hang out tomorrow. I have to go water my plant. Sorry. I appreciate you, though. <laughs> I appreciate it. A lot of my excuses will just amount to that. Basically. No, I do. But for some reason, it's very important to water the plants, you know? What is this? Celestian. This is kind of cool. I find that does happen, though, you know? Like... You need to make space for that kind of thing. I have to return some, I have to return some videotapes. Isn't that the, uh, the Patrick Bateman thing? I have to return some videotapes. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be getting the yams here. We should get the full fall crops bundle. Don't have these. I don't believe I have this, but anytime I get a new and unique item, it makes me want to bring it over here, you know? 
Yeah, that's totally a Patrick Bateman thing, isn't it? I have to return some videotapes. Oh, cave carrot. We haven't got that yet. Ooh, a blackberry. Cool. Look at that. It's like collecting, you know? Oh, here we go. Whoops. Whoops, a daisy. Here we go. Oh, funny. We've got the winter crop. Oh, you can get um different seasons crops in, like, different uh, levels of the cave. There we go. We already did that. I'm pretty sure that's everything we got here. Um, I don't want to be here forever, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Yeah, we should probably start checking the TV again. We're already at 3.20 p.m., though, so am I going to do anything else? Yeah, you know, that, that's a good idea. I could decide the day of. That would be good. Yeah, let's do it. If we don't have a good... We'll go into the mine only on days with good ladder spawn rates. Now we're making a little bit better use of our time. Thank you, Guest Hut. I have a really niche tip. You look at your um, exclamation point tab, and your items will hover if you can donate them as far as I know. Hmm. Anyway, do you mean the... You mean like this? Uh, what is it? Uh, no, where is it? This thing? Like this thing? That may be helpful. Although some of them... Why is it that I, I don't have an item to donate here, but it's still, like, buzzing around, you know? It's still like, oh, I've got something, and then I open it up, and it's like, oh, There's nothing that I have for this. It's the inventory tree thing. What's the inventory tree thing? Yeah, I'm into the wrong woman. I'm into Pam. Unfortunately. <laughs> Hovering over the item in the inventory. Oh, the, I... Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. So, like, if you go to this... Hovering over the item in your inventory, the icon for the bundles will wiggle. Hmm. Uh, when you say inventory, do you mean this? Romance Pam mod? Is there a mod for it? <laughs> oh, my God. Where do I get that? Oh, the actual backpack. Okay, so I go into my actual backpack. And then this thing... Oh, I see what you're saying. So then this thing will, like, do that. Okay, that's great. That's great fun. It's too bad that you have to go there, but at least then you could kind of do this. So we don't have to waste all of our time on, like... Let me just see. Does it do it with items that are only in the back... Only with items that are in the backpack? Or do we have anything else in here that could potentially be used? Oh, we do! So a daffodil could be used for it. That's really great. Oh, that's a fantastic tip. I never would have noticed that. Hey, thank you very, very much. Oh, Jesus Christ, DJ. That's going to save me a lot of time going back and forth. Wow, thank you very much. Do you see that? Does everybody see that now? If you didn't see this before, that is kind of a pro tip. That is very helpful. Thank you very much. Um, okay, yeah. Earth Crystal... Belongs in the community center. Yeah, that's very helpful. Okay, we're going to have to make so many fewer trips. And we could just put these into a place of our inventory when, like, we know where it should be. Or something like that. Okay. Wow, I'm going to get so much more efficient with this. Oh, look, you can even color the chests. I didn't even notice that. I could put the blue items in the blue chest. Though it's now 4.30 p.m., I feel like I missed out on the day. Let's just go see if the mines are open. And they call them the mines. The mines. Uh, fortune teller. Okay, it wasn't even a good day for the mines anyway. Huzzah. Amazing. So now at least we won't waste our time in the mines, though. Okay, see, now my intelligence has increased. Does everyone see that? I can do it again <laughs> if you want. Oh my god. You know, I've developed a horrible habit of laughing at my own jokes. I think it's because everything I've said, and this first threw me off in making videos, like, was would just fall into darkness. I've never made a joke and had people laugh before me, so I've now developed a habit of laughing at my own jokes, since there's no one there to laugh at them with me. And this is problematic, because when I go out in public, it'll be like, <laughs> Hey! So I'm trying to, like, deprogram all of these horrible things that I've learned from making a lot of videos. 
Doesn't that sound unhealthy to you? It's horrible. It's really awful. Oh no. Who has this problem? Like, he played too many video games, and now he can't laugh anymore. It does kind of increase your con- it does increase your confidence, so you don't feel like you have to be... Like, I'll s that is fair, that is fair. Both you and your partner left. I mean, could you all tell me when you laugh in real time so that I don't have to... Although, maybe that's a thing. Well, one of my buddies started doing, like, stand-up comedy, and I was looking at it, and I was just sort of like, Oh, I think I could do that, you know? But maybe I'm overestimating myself, and maybe I'm just bad at it. Originally, I did YouTube because I wanted to try stand-up, but it was so inconvenient to get to places where you could do stand-up. So I was like, ah, all right, I might as well just make videos and see how that goes. I still would like to at some point, it's just I haven't had, literally have not at the time. Most of the people on this platform are like serial creatives. That is not to say that they eat like lucky charms and things uh, like that, but you know, that they they can't stop. Maybe I could. I could just obnoxiously put in a soundboard, except that it's not like a... It's just like a monologue with a soundboard. It would be like JFK putting a laugh track behind one of his speeches. Ask not what your country could do for you. <laughs> do. I don't know where I'm going with this. I truly don't. Sometimes... Well, the worst part is when you say... Something that's not funny, and then where do you go from there? I learned this from a, a better man than me once, a long ago, and he said, Rob, when you say something that's not funny, you just gotta say, I got nothing, and that, or just don't do anything and just be quiet. And that is the best thing you can do to save face when you're trying to do something nice, and it doesn't work out. And then you question your motives. And then you learn. And then you mature, as they say. Hecklers, yeah, hecklers would be wild. I didn't like you anyway, you know? <laughs> Something like that. So how do we figure out where to... Earth crystal. Was told to light yourself on... Oh my god, that's awful! Why would they say that? <laughs> that wasn't funny. You deserve to burn... <laughs> Why would they say that? That is n that is not okay. We've got one more item here. What do we, where do we find this? Does anyone know where to find this? I would like to finish off one of these things. Fire quartz. Um, I suppose we must have to go further down to where there's red quartz, right? You're no fun. Well, you, you don't do that. That gets worse. You need to be able to recover. See, this was an issue that I had back when I used to teach uh, sixth grade. Um, and fifth, because uh, I'll, there's always, like, one kid in the class who, like, the other kids rag on, and it's not nice, and, like, it's, it's horrible. It always seems to happen in every, in every group. Maybe not in every group, but in particular ones. And anyway, like, that kid just depends so much on the other kids for, like, validation, and, like, gets angry. When they don't, and just like it breeds so much toxicity. And then, how do you address it as a teacher, like, to instruct that child to like become more self-aware? <laughs> but I remember one time, um, not naming any names. I guess this is fine. Yeah, there was a there was a student that I had who like would get angry when people said that he was like cringe or something like that, and he would like fight it. And just like, oh my god, it, he just would create a scene. And it was painful to observe. It was sort of like, like just at a total lack of self-awareness. It truly is bad at that age. That was probably the hardest thing about teaching kids of that age. Is like, at least when they're in 7th grade to like ninth and 12th. Like, they have some sense of, like, oh, that was kind of socially awkward. I shouldn't have done that. But when they're in fifth and sixth and, like, maybe as young as fourth, maybe as high as seventh, kids just have no self-awareness. And, like, they will do... Are you working on this at night? All right, whatever. Yeah, it's tricky, though. It's tricky. Like, how do you, I don't know, love kids through that 
horrible moment in their development and like try to support them in some way but at times i would just like go like ah oh, i'd give up today <laughs> like i can't i can't take this anymore oh my god yeah well that was the thing is like they would actively resist it and get defensive and try to fight it and like <laughs> it's like oh my god this person has <laughs> no <laughs> like uh no social skills and like they really need some help but how can i <laughs> interject in some way so as to not cause more harm because sometimes your first impulse as a teacher because sometimes those kids will draw more attention to themselves in like situations where they really just should and like they should just kind of you know like learn to be a little bit more chill and relaxed there's just part of it is just that kids are so mean to each other at that age it's really good practice for being a parent though i guess or like just understanding you know, so much of how people see themselves is based on, like, middle school politics, I think. So it's it's a very, like, eye-opening age range to teach. Um, it was probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I don't want to do it again, ever. Um, maybe, maybe not quite that much time. Some people have asked me, like, oh, AA, do you ever want to go back and teach? Like, I entertain fantasies of it at times. Like, oh, yeah, I could go back, and I would be much better at it now. But it's also just like, oh, gosh. Dear AA, I'd like to give my cows a special treat. They're such good girls in Hungary, too. Could you bring me a bunch of amaranth? They love that stuff. Thanks, dear Marnie. Oh, damn it! I didn't mean to accept that. <laughs> you had a student who army crawled into the room. <laughs> oh, my God. One time I had a student who was, like, very... Like, he wasn't from the kind of environment where we were working with kids. He just, like, came from a totally different school. And he walked into my classroom once and he said, Hey, big fella, to me. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what? I just had to do a double take. I'm like, you can't... I'm the teacher, you can't say that. Like, no. But, like, it's really funny in the moment. And it's also just like, ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> like, what am I gonna... Because you gotta stop. Like, you gotta... You don't want to, like, sacrifice the long term, but you also, you know, you need to maintain composure, and it's like, wait a minute. Keep in mind, this is like a fifth grader. It's like, wait a minute. I deserve a little more respect than that. But also just like, ah, oh, God. <laughs> what is this? Are those the worms? Oh my God, so that gives you clay. That is interesting. Hang on a second. Do these give me mushrooms? No, it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, feel free to call me big fella. Some people... I didn't... You know, this was... Oh my god. No, please don't call me big fella. It will bring back... It'll bring back just a bunch of crazy memories of just... Awful... Awful, like, uh... Oh my god. We used to have to have the kids, like, file into the classroom. Which... Oh my god. Let me just tell you that having, like, a hundred kids out in a hallway and have them quietly file into your classroom is like just an excruciating experience to do it oh my god yeah like there's a lot of bs you kind of gotta go through but it's good i grew i grew as a person <laughs> all the good stuff like the dude on tic tac tic tac tic tac there we go tic tac you say tic tac what's tic tac tic tac who reenacts how kids I could do a pretty good impression of them now. <laughs> hmm. Very displeased today. Oh no. Okay, another bad day for the mines. This is going to hopefully... What is the Queen of Sauce? Greetings. It is I, the Queen of Sauce. Here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, pancakes. Some... Oh, cool. Oh, look, there she is herself right now. What is happening to her? What is she being... It looks like she's being, like, dragged down by a bunch of tentacles. What is that? Save yourself instead of cooking delicious pancakes for us. You learn to cook pancakes. Oh, you can learn recipes from the TV. Doesn't it piss you off those cooking shows where they have everything like pre-measured out? Like, oh, I, I only had the time to do that. You know? <laughs> because they would come on on daytime television when I would stay home. And it would always be like I was supposed to be somewhere else, you know? Like, oh, I'm not supposed to be watching this daytime television. And there they would be in the kitchen, 
like these old people with their recipes. It pissed me off. I, so, too many things. Just, I just react and judge. I don't really evaluate and try to understand. Man. Hey, Amphibious Ambigian. Oh my god, you created an account for that and subbed for me. I do appreciate that. Now I can't use that as one of my alternate accounts, though. How will I ever uh, conduct my covert Twitch operations of deception and dissonance? This seems like an ideal day to fish. But thank you very much for the prime, I do appreciate it. And Joy Sauce for the 100 bits. And pu Hey Puppet, how are you doing? Thank you very much for the very generous 28 months. How are you, Puppet? I remember you very well. Only the worms give you stuff, they give you artifacts, clay and other things. Should I go to the worms in real life? Will they give me artifacts? Oh great and sacred worm, give me an artifact. Are you displeased, sacred worm? You know, you know, worms are an invasive species. They don't deserve that kind of street, uh, treatment. There we go, treatment. How do we get that bait on these rods? Ooh, the upgrades. Oh, yes, we could do the recipes. Probably that would be better. Year of learn. Year one is year of learn. Hey, big fella. Teaching changes you forced me to be organized. I think that the maybe the most major thing that I learned in teaching was I read a book by David Allen called Getting Things Done. And I swear to God, like, when you are a teacher, kids just hand you stuff left and right that they want you to do something with. And at first I thought, like, I will be organized. I was organized when I was a student. No, as a teacher, like, well, as a student, you're managing yourself, you know? This is my folder. This is my pen. This is my notebook. This is my pencil. Like, they are mine. But as a teacher, you're getting, like, some kid, like, oh, I got a note from home, and I have an allergy that I just discovered, and um, I didn't do my homework, but I'll hand it to you tomorrow. And, like, you need to be prepared for all of that, because now... Well, when I first started teaching, my backpack was just papers. Like, it was a mess at first. I was inconsolable. What I did learn was that you need to make space for other people's, like, just pure confusion in their lives by accepting all of their papers into one box. And then at the end of the day, you go through that box, and then you have to categorize it. But you can't have them put into like individual boxes, otherwise your life just becomes too confusing. Because someone will send you, hand you something from like three weeks ago and it's like, wait a minute, I, it's too late. But, I mean, keep in mind these were very young kids. Like if this were high school or college or something like that, you know, you kind of got to just say like, hey, I can't take it anymore, sorry. It's too late, you can't hand me your I mean, think about if people did that in their real-life jobs. Like, we have the quarterly report at uh, next year. <laughs> like, you know? That would not be okay. Probably. Hey, let's keep doing some fishing. This is nice. We're getting more stuff for the museum. Ooh, DJ, you're doing a Stardew game alongside... I recommend it. Thank you very much for all your help. Like, always here, always I'm finding you when we're doing games that matter to me that I want to learn. You have very good taste. Appreciate that. Appreciate you. Yeah, you're not responsible for yourself, but many other people. It's like all the things I never thought teaching would be, teaching was. But I'm grateful, I'll say this, I'm grateful for it because it, it gave me a full career before I did YouTube. Um, and like, I can't wait to see, I, I love life. Like, it keeps taking new directions, you know? Kind of like it was in college. Completely undecided. Wait a second. I can't stay here any longer. I keep doing new things in life every few years, and I love it. I'm loving life. I'm having a great life. It's going pretty well. There's things I don't like about it, but for the most part... I think, uh, you know, I'm liking it. Although I can't sometimes escape the feeling that maybe, maybe it's all just constant suffering punctuated by <laughs> momentary bouts of joy. 
You know, you ever think that about life? And I'm like, man, that seems pretty negative. Like, sometimes I feel that way, but then sometimes I think it's all kind of crazy. What is it we're getting in life? Like, Stardew Valley, for example. It's mostly walking around and trying to get someplace so that you can release more serotonin from your brain. You know? Something like that. But, uh... Well, there's also all of this other cool stuff you could be exploring, and that's kind of nice. Hey! The fish bundle. Two streams in one day? How exciting. Lurking and providing knowledge matters. Yes, the farm must grow. They restore stamina. If you're looking at mushrooms, you have a shroom cave on the top left of your farm. Hey, Winter- Hey, Winter is Hazel. How are you doing? Thank you very much for the sub. We did a YouTube one before. I just felt like doing this. Warp directly to the beach. Consumed on use. The farm- The beach must grow. Do we have anything else that belongs in the trash? More like, belongs in the trash. Hmm. That's about it, but not more than Earwig has. Mm, we get to experience being alive. At least we get to experience, but I think that's a novel perspective. Like, what if we were just nothing? Sea cucumber. Is this useful for anything? Like, we got a legendary sea cucumber. Seems like it's worth hanging on to. Although at other moments, I guess it just depends on mood. Like, sometimes I'm like, nothing matters. And other times I'm like, everything is great. <laughs> you know? Like, I think when I'm driving, I think that everything is great. Everything has a marked line, and I know where everything is supposed to be. I'm in the right place. I like driving. I'm a, I'm a big fan of driving. But, um... Yeah, sometimes, like, when I'm getting out of bed, I'm like, there is nothing out there for me. You know, and then I get in the car, and then everything's okay again. You hate driving? I love driving. I hate riding the train. For some people, it's the opposite. They love riding on trains, and I, I hate driving. I mean, I love driving. Yeah, you gotta blast music when you drive. I mean, you know, pay attention to your surroundings, but yeah. Like, you gotta energize the drift. It can be good for you. Now everyone's gonna be worried. I'm gonna crash into things. No, I have never crashed into anything. Crossed my heart and hope to, and hope to... Well, I hope not to die in the car, that is to say. Last call. Is the cucumber useful for anything? Um, as far as I know, it's a no. I can't really think of anything else that this is useful for. We might want to save some of this for tomorrow, though. Actually, that might save me a little bit of... Yes, be very careful, I will say that. Although, like, you know, there is there is something to be said about listening to music making you more relaxed. Keep your eye on the... Okay, well, like, all that said, like, don't obviously be crazy in the car. Drive at a safe time. Like, handle your car with great care because, like, you are piloting a giant metal machine, which is insane. And just the thought of that is crazy. But also to... Maybe driving is something worth hating, now that you say it. Maybe I'm having too much fun. I just like driving. I, I enjoy it. it. Like, it relaxes me. Oh my god! Sex. Double bed. Well, I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask for this. Wait a minute. What have you done? Oh my gosh, that doesn't look realistic. Interact with the stove. Don't- I didn't come here, I just said I like driving, and then it drove us into a- I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're right, I am. I- I think maybe it's because I'm slightly too glad. Yeah, but you do- that is an important thing. You can change your life, and it's horrible when you think about those things. Alright, I don't want to go all heavy on you, though. Yes, we are in a never-ending cycle of just, uh, infinite recursion. But at the same time, like, maybe there's something funny about that. I don't- I didn't come to go- I came here to relax today, Chad. I'm not worrying about my driving- Well, maybe I should, now that you mention it. No, I've never- I don't even believe that my car has touched anything ever. Not even me. I've just levitated. I am surrounded by the car when I am in the car. Interact with the stove and any food I have in the fridge acts as automatic ingredients. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, I love that. So we should put the food into the fridge? Oh my gosh. Just say, don't crash, don't crash whenever you're in the car. Yes, I'm sure that'll work. 
Honestly, not a bit. I, I do think that is a good philosophy of driving, though. Like, just... Your whole life can change in an instant, and, like, you need to be extremely careful. Like, just think about people whose lives are ruined by a car accident. Oh, it's awful to think about. So when you do get into a car... Like, I, I have a list of things like this that I have to call to mind. Like, that you just have to greet them with the ultimate respect. Driving is one of those things. Maybe I shouldn't like it. Maybe it's irresponsible to like it. It is insane. It is insane. Yeah, if you value everyone's life, get out of the car. Although I do wish that we had better public transport, but where I am, it's better. It's, uh, it's pretty good. I tend to drive when there's almost nobody on the road, too. I do like that. I'll say that I do hate sitting in traffic. It's awful. Here we go. Ah, the farm must grow. All right, let's get this pancake crap ready. I think that would be good. We need flour and stuff. I mean, if we manage to do this, I'm assuming that it could significantly improve our energy throughout the days, rather than just us having to eat raw fish like Gollum every day. Hmm. I don't mean to be so like, uh, what is the word for it? Prosthletizing? Yeah, maybe something like that. Although sometimes people take every word that comes out of my mouth with like... I, I do... I do not do all of this to be entirely factual. I am trying to be entertaining. I am trying... Is it working yet? <laughs> but sometimes it's like, whoops! <laughs> yeah. Ah, la la la, I'm gonna sing a song. Uh, hopefully it'll be good. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm running out of things to say. I don't know. Let's move on to a new topic. Yeah, drive safely. Be careful. Um, don't take things for granted. Be gra grateful. But if I just talked about that all day, this would turn into kind of a boring stream. I just like to say I like driving. So you're not allowed to enjoy anything. This is just what I was saying before. This is why life is just constant torment. <laughs> Oh, did the Gollum game come out? Was it any good? Glimmer with my scrying orb. Uh, just, oh my god, every day we're getting bad luck. So how do we put, okay, so we could put it into the fridge. Where is the fridge? Oh my gosh, wow, holy cow, I almost don't hate my entire life again. Let's put, oh, so this is such a great way to use ingredients. I don't want to go back to the mine again, I suppose, but... What am I doing with my life? We'll go to the mine on a lucky day. Lucky boy day. Um, we could... Well, when all these things grow, we could do the next part. Never mind. Hmm. What else should we be doing with the farm right now? I mean, we've got a lot of stuff. I feel pretty disorganized. I don't really know what I'm doing. I feel like... I feel like I've been kind of going all over the place. It, it does. It kind of feels like I'm all over the place. Like, I, I feel like I don't have a plan. Like, I had a plan, and then it fell apart, and then I didn't know what to do. I mean, that's honestly a pretty good description of real life. <laughs> Somehow I'm getting by. Get the barn. The barn would be good. Or like the chicken coop or something like that. I think we need a little bit more money. We should probably sell some stuff, because... Well, what can we sell a lot of... Uh, I honestly haven't used the fertilizer. I haven't really used this. Copper ore. Hmm. I could probably sell the cauliflower. I don't really need it right now, you know? I know spring will come, but, like, right now, I just... I kind of need the money. And who cares? It's fine. Refined quartz will keep... I think topaz. I'm not sure if we've done that at the museum yet. I'll take one. Let me take all of the bug meat. What is bug meat useful for, anyway? Rice shoot. Um, hmm. I think I just had that one open. What is in this one? Ooh, the cutlass we could sell. Um, the training rod. Yeah, we haven't really been using the training rod that much anymore. I feel like we're good enough at it. Tundra brute boots. The brutes. <laughs> Tundra brutes. Ah, uh, you know, we didn't even use the summer seeds. These are useful, but I, again, I think I just want the fast money. Because we're trying to do this for one year. And, like, I feel like uh, the imposter if I do this another way. Not okay. Bug meat crafts fishing bait. Hmm. 
I don't feel like I've been doing enough fishing. Could we just sell it for right now? I just want to get the quick cash. I want to get that farm coop going up. Because I feel like I want some kind of... I want something working passively in the background. And I, I want to keep expanding the farm. The farm must grow. I'll take the Kali. I know this is not the smartest thing to do, but I'm like... I just kind of want it to happen. Yeah, 16... That was really not... Uh, that wasn't worth it. Whatever it was. 3,313. Do I now have enough for an expansion? Nah, 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 nah. No. Oh, God. Well, let's see what Robin has to say about this. I wouldn't do this if it were a two-year playthrough, but... Maybe next year, at the beginning of the year, I'll just start fresh and kind of, like, clean out all my inventories. Just because I'm starting to see the value of getting organized in this now. I feel like... It's kind of like real life. If you just kind of run around, like, with a chicken with his head cut off. Oh, Jesus, 50k. Well, that's rather expensive. Okay, we could definitely do the coop. Do we have to do the coop before we do the barn, I suppose? I really waited kind of a long time. Should I woo a woman? I don't know, maybe we'll do that in the winter. How long do you have to woo a woman before she likes you? <laughs> the questions everyone is asking. <laughs> How long must I woo a woman? Uh, 2 p.m. to- okay, we've got a little bit of time here. Let's just do a little bit of exploring. Give her lots of love gifts your entire life. <laughs> ah, she likes me. Now I won't spend any more time on her. <laughs> uh, honestly, too real. <laughs> the farm must grow. <laughs> oh my god. It's such a horrible message that we teach people. <laughs> Give a girl gifts until she likes you, and then leave her at your house and never return to your home. <laughs> Look at me go! I'm destroying public trees that belong to the state and other people. Abigail loves pumpkins. Oh, interesting. Hmm, shopping. Okay, here we go. I take my cutlass, I hate it. Take the small magnet ring, take the wooden blade. Take the bunny, the bunny meat, the bug meat, why don't you? All right, let's get that coop. I just wanted to make some fast cash. Amethysts. Different things to different women. What if I just give her the wrong things for her entire life? <laughs> you think anyone's ever tried this? I'm trying to picture like the... <laughs> well, there was a woman I loved, so I just kept giving her blueberries every day. Each day, I would give her one blueberry until I had earned her. <laughs> I love faux naive readings of real life from video games. Oh, damn it. This won't work anywhere. I guess let's just put it there for right now because I don't want to have to go back to the farm. Like, I was living my best life. It looks kind of bad, but... Oh, damn it. I could always move it. It's like a tiny home, except it, it houses little chicken people. <sighs> little chicken people. Where am I going with this? I'm running, out, I'm running out of verbiage. I did visit some chickens the other day. Chickens really are disorganized. They don't know what's going on when they're chicks. They're just kind of like vectors flying around everywhere. Ducks, however, are organized people. <laughs> Ducks are citizens. And they... Like, they sign petitions and bring them around for people to sign. No, you get a bunch of ducks together. Like, I guess you call them a flock of ducks. Are all birds just flocks? Like, they get organized, man. Arrows in the Kentucky Mint. Oh, nice. Oh. Animals feed off the grown grass on non-rady days. Oh, nice. Otherwise, you have to fill their feeding troughs. Okay. <clears throat> I guess we should probably get, like, hay grass or something like that, right? Or will my animals die? This will be kind of cool. Hey, we've had all this grass. Now it gives a reason for us to have all the grass. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't check the mine today, did I? Oh, dang it. Oh, you get lost in, like, what day is it again? Okay, yeah, this wasn't the day for it. Okay, that's good. Never mind. I hate you, too. 
Never mind. I need more food. Although maybe I should just give up for today. It is 4.30. I feel like I could do better with the energy. Tomorrow I will go back and the farm must grow. Maybe I've given up on these days too fast, though, I feel like. But it's just that my energy bar depletes. What is, like, the number of hours that you need to sleep in order to get a full energy bar? Is it, like, eight hours of sleep and you're good? Ooh, it's raining, too, today. Do you hear that? Luck will not be on your side. Yet again, we've had, like, no luck the last couple of days. Starting animals right before winter. Ouch. Oh, should we get them earlier? I think we did pretty well. I enjoyed it all. I don't think it's bad. I mean, yeah, I suck, but at the same time. Yeah, that wasn't really the point of the playthrough. Hmm. I guess it would be interesting to watch somebody, like, speedrun it, though, too. I guess I could fish. I'm almost like I'm better off fishing. Let's fish in a couple of other areas, though. Let's just go ahead and see what kinds of things... I want to try to finish this off. Specialty fish bundle. Well, we don't have any special fish, of course. Crab pot. I don't know if we're going to get that either. Lake fishing, though. Lake fishing could be cool. Night fishing. Ooh, night fishing. I think we could do the lake. Lake and the river. Yeah, let's try that. Let's give that a shot. Um, The lake over here. South of Name Farm. Let's try that with the bamboo fishing rod. Does that work? Or Well, I'll give it a shot. Ooh, the bath could be fun, yeah. Is the bath open? We should go up to that. I swear to God, I'm learning something new at every second. It's it's really dizzying. Um, I must be, like, one of the only new Stardew players. But it, it maybe it seems novel to other people. It, it probably will be very painful to watch this VOD in time. But I'm like, uh, I enjoy it for my own self, you know. I'm playing this kind of selfishly. I'm going to make a, a shorter video on it in the end. Like, just describing everything I learned. I think it's kind of a cool primer to the game because some of my videos are sort of like a tutorial in disguise, you know? Like, oh, I secretly learned this game, but here's something really cool about how it feels to learn this game. And I think that's a unique perspective. Sometimes I can't even really get that perspective back after I've, um... After I've played the game for a long time. Like, there's this... Sudden bout of joy. Feeling good about that, yeah. I have to go to bed by midnight to get a full stamina bar. Okay, that's a helpful tip. Thank you. Oh, maybe that's what we were getting. Okay, so then that actually gives me a, a good primer. Thank you, DJ. Yeah, what time do you wake up? So I guess you need, like, what, six, six and a half hours of sleep? Yeah, that kind of makes sense. What you need, more or less. Depends on the person. Okay, more lake fishing. Ah, another smallmouth bass. Why is the word bass used for some base bass? I, I wonder where that comes from. Like, why does the musical instrument and the fish have the... Why do they both have the same name? Why? These are dumb questions. Don't answer them. Don't worry about them. It's like intrusive thoughts. Hmm. Okay, more of these goddamn smallmouth... Is it like a bice? If there are... <laughs> there were bice in the lake. There were bison in the lake. Maybe this is the only fish that I can grab. I'm doing very well, though. Oh, look. A, what the hell? Like a traveling caravan woman? Who are you? Oh, you can sell me something. Oh, this is kind of weird. Getting, like, Sims vibes from her. Is that the only thing I can catch from here? How it feels to chew. Would it be cynical to say that... Let's try that bath option, though. Like, there's still so much of the map that I haven't even explored because I've just been busy. Like, running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Maybe if I just spread my net a bit wider, I wouldn't get as much done on a day-to-day -day basis. But I would get, like, more... I don't know. I, th I think this is all I'm getting. 
Man, it's so cool. Like, certain days of the week, the traveling merchant shows up. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's sweet. I love games with, like, I don't know, just, like, scheduled events like that. That's really neat. Can you do it? It seems like there's, a, like, a secret under every single thing in this game. Like, even those little frogs, can you capture those or something? Kind of reminds me of Animal Crossing, how, like, you know, every single thing was an unlock. Animal Crossing, you could spend, like, zillions of hours playing those games. It's extremely relaxing to play Animal Crossing. It lowers your blood pressure, I swear to God. Except for the people who feel like that they can't get everything done, and then it stresses them out, and then they get upset, and they need therapy to talk about Animal Crossing. I was trying to do everything, and I just... I couldn't do no mo. Couldn't. Ooh, the spa open all day. So I guess you go north of the farm, right? Is this a secret passage? Like, let's go ahead and just check out our energy. I love this. Friday, Sundays, the traveling merchant shows up and shells around stuff. Sometimes bundle items. Ooh, thank you, DJ. Work. The farm must grow. I'd like to put... I guess I could put down some paths, come to think of it. Oh. Love. Oh, this is helpful. Oh my gosh, this is a really helpful thing. Wow. Knowing who is single... And ready to mingle, of course, is extremely helpful. I was kind of worried about this, because I was like... Could I just date anyone, or would that be fornication, you know? Or, like, what if they're just not into me, you know? Like, could I date the blacksmith, for example? Or, like, um, like the old lady? Um, apparently not. She's not available. I mean, I don't know for sure, but, you know. It doesn't appear that she's available. Can't ask anyone to move in with you non-romantically. What if I just need them for some help around the house? Yeah. I need you to pick up after me. And in exchange, you can live in my house. Sound like a good deal? Oh, look, you've even got a women's and a men's. Oh, wow, there's so much love in this spot. So how do we get to the spa itself? Do I go in here? Is this the spa in the back? Oh, look, here I go. My energy may be rising. Is it? Ooh, look at me go. Wow. Oh, my God. That looks great. Wow. This is so realistic. I love that. That's great. Holy cow. So you're, whoa, oh my gosh, wow, I clearly do have a lot more energy now. Hey, that's cool. I like that. Thong, th thong, thong, thong. <laughs> no, it's not really a thong, but <laughs> I don't know, I just felt the spirit come over me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there was no one running that bathhouse. That's a little bit like Miyazaki, I don't know what. Yeah, this game has a little bit of a Miyazaki feel about it, too. I don't know, maybe it's the train running through the town? Any of you guys get that kind of vibe from it? Something about it. Like, I'm expecting no face to show up out of nowhere. I don't- just ignore me, I just get great satisfaction out of cutting the plant fibers. I love this. I'm loving this game, this is amazing. There's just so much to explore and, and like... And now that I know the route north of the farm, I can get a little bit more done. Um, we do happen to have another item that we could donate to the museum now. Though I'm... Now I'm sort of becoming a completionist about this. I want to get this thing done in this first year, though, because it does unlock a lot of cool stuff. Although I think I just sold a lot of it, too. <laughs> hey, Mudrat. Thank you very much for the very kind words. Try Barotrauma. I love Barotrauma. Played. Everyone uh, is... Well, not everyone. A lot of people have recommended that to me. It always keeps coming back up. A lot of friends seem to enjoy it. I like it. I'd like to return to it. Although it might be good with multiplayer. Might be a fun VOD. I, the thing is that it always demands kind of like heavy RP. I can't really get into super heavy RP. 
I mean, I can, don't get me wrong, but I like, I don't do it as well as I do like a big challenge or something like that. I kind of like that. I feel like I know what's going on, but maybe I need to challenge myself a little bit more. Uh, where is the lake? Here we go. Lake fish bundle. All right, smallmouth bass. Was that? I can't really do anything with that. Okay, that's too bad. Yeah, where was this hazelnut? For probably in the foraging. Hmm. Oops, I hit the wall again. Ignore me. Hmm, fall crops. No, spring crops, artisan, animal, no. I swear to God, it wasn't one of these things. Quality crops, summer crops. Maybe it was back here. The large mouth bass. Oh, it's the large mouth bass. What's wrong with the small mouth bass? Partner loves Barotrauma. Barotrauma is fun. I liked doing it with, um, oh, who was I going to say? I think I did it with Coco Plays and Ghoul King a while back. We had a great time on that. <laughs> I would do it with, <laughs> I would do it with them again. That was fun. <laughs> oh, my God. We just did another one with Ghoul recently. It was a great time. Oh, my God. Mixed seeds. Here we go. It's always a great time. Ghoul is one of those... Yeah, I think Ghoul is one of my... Like, one of my... one of the, Probably the YouTuber friend that I've known the longest. And like, I know him in real life, and he's a great guy. It's, it's funny to me that this has been around that long. I started all this when I was 22, and I just met a bunch of people through YouTube. But yeah, he was somebody I met online that I met up with in real life. And it was like, oh god. Like, I traveled halfway across the country to see you, and it was part of when I was moving. Um, yeah, he's a great dude. We have great, we have great, like, stories and... I, we always have dinner together whenever I see him. It's just a good time. And then... And then he treats me very nicely. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I, well, no, I didn't mean to make it weird. Yeah, but it's fun, like, you know, you... I've met a lot of people through this. It's wild. It's crazy to me. Like, you know, it, it you, it's not just YouTube. It's, like, real life, too. It's not... It's also real life, actually. Where am I going with this? Love them. Love them. Mm, 540. Now I have too much energy, though. Uh, this is a new and unique problem to have. I now have too much energy. This is great. Okay, I'm I'm just going to throw myself at various tasks that I can't decide what to do now because now I understand how the energy the energy the energy management. Now I get how the energy management works in this game. Okay, so basically the best thing you can do if you don't have just like copious amounts of food is go to the spa at the end of the day. You work your butt off until midnight and then you sleep and then you wake up, and then you go back to another day of torture, and then, then you die. Well, you never die, but... Isn't it weird that you won't ever be like, well, I'm dead? <laughs> like, that's never gonna be your... <laughs> you never get to do that. Man. Like, you'll never be aware that you are gone. When you're conscious. Maybe you'll have, like, a moment of an out-of-body experience at the end of your life. Like, wow, ooh, this is crazy. I wonder if I'm gonna die. <laughs> like, <laughs> that'll be it. If you're even coherent enough. There we go. In, in, cool. These are the important questions that no one is asking. I really want the crops to grow. I guess we can do some river fishing before the day ends, right? I mean, it's only 7.40 p.m. Now I can maximize my use of each day just a little bit better. Maybe then I'll get on the bus or something like that and go to a place. Yeah, th I'm, the longer grass... Uh, oh, like, even the... Do you mean, like, the grass that is immovable beyond? I wonder if we'll be able to catch any interesting sorts of fish in here with this rod. It's just, we kind of put ourselves out. We're like lame ducks. Because, um, you know, I, I sold everything for crops. Like, when the, when the harvest comes, I'm going to be a rich man again, but I basically screwed myself until that time. I realized maybe this isn't such a great idea. I mean, in future years, I'll have time, but... 
for right now. Maybe it was kind of a dumb thing to do. So we'll just don't move around too much. Good. Perfect. Perfect even. Bream. Okay, maybe I need that for something. I'll do like maybe four or five fish. Ooh, certain fish for the bundles only show up during the rainy days, too. Oh, that is kind of like Animal Crossing. Hey, thank you, DJ. I remember when I played Animal Crossing as a kid, I used to cheat, like, insanely. I would always change time and day on my DS. I played it on DS, because I was really cool as a kid. Two screens instead of one? What a crazy contraption. Almost no one else had a Nintendo DS that I knew. Whoops, here we go. But yeah, Animal Crossing had all these events that differed by day, and time of day, and night, and season, and year. So I would always... I think this is how I learned that compounding interest worked in the bank. Because I never wanted to save up as much money as Tom Nook demanded that I pay for my goddamn house upgrades. So what I would do would be to turn on and off the Nintendo DS several times while zim uh, zooming the year on my DS from 2000, whatever it was, like 2003, when, 2005, whenever I was playing the game, to like 2199. Like, just to cause, like, basically fry from Futurama levels of compound interest in my bank account. And that, let me tell you, was where I started having a lot of personal issues with Tom Nook and my Nintendo DS. And that's really where the troubles started, you know? Um, now, anyway, that was how I saved up a lot of money. But then the whole Animal Crossing town was full of weeds. And there were just like... <laughs> and then uh, Rossetti, the, the mole man, would come to my house and tell me like, Oh, you have tampered with the space-time continuum. But you made a lot of money doing it, so I don't blame you for it. And then... Um, and then I would really struggle. Hey, we're getting a cotton raid. Sorry, we're just talking about the space-time continuum. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hang on a second. I gotta give cotton a quick... Sh I, I took out my fishing rod in bed again, as I am accustomed to doing. Thanks, Saint. Cotton is legitimately one of my favorite streamers. Uh, and as I always say, one of the most genital... I mean, genial streamers, of course. Uh, among Us. Oh my gosh, I just said Among Us again. For like the 50th time. Hey, dude, what's up? What were you guys playing now that my shout-out command doesn't work? Long Dark. Ooh, you're doing the Long Dark? Ooh, love the Long Dark very much. Um, I always get con confused with a different game name that I'm not allowed to say anymore. Otherwise, I'll get uh, taken off of the platform, and that won't be okay. But um, it requires a scythe. Oh, my God, look at this. Why did I plant this here? I really regret this immediately. I guess I'm going to have to harvest it later. Later. Hey, man, I hope you had a good stream. Thanks for sending your folks over here. Honestly, guys, Cotton, better streamer than me. Um, and I I am afraid that you'll leave me and watch him instead. What were you guys doing? Show us your, show me your toes. Everybody was asking for my feed on YouTube. And why don't you ask Cotton for his feet instead of mine? He has nicer feet, probably. I'm sick of this. People asking me for my feet. Sorry, I got very defensive when people talk about them. Um, anyway, yeah, I bet you had a long stream. Feel free to stick around or, like, go ahead and have some uh, very calorie-high pasta. Spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Okay, you know, I think that it is fine to go to the mines now, just because we haven't been to the mines in a long time, and I, I do desire that of life. But, yeah. Oh, no. Why would you say that about his feet? I bet that they're wonderful feet that take him all over the place. Here and there and everywhere. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry I said this. <laughs> I have so many issues. And, um, yeah, thank you for the raid, man, though. I hope you had a good time. And, like, I, I, I love you. And actually, you are one of the... Probably, even after my long... An arduous career playing video games. <laughs> what am I saying? Um, oh, here we go. Bream. 
<laughs> Man, what a ridiculous life I have. <laughs> um, yeah, Cotton is, is le legitimately a very funny guy, though. I, I really like Cotton. I, to I toot your horn like that, but you do deserve it. You do deserve it. Oh, no. Take your feet somewhere else. I don't know anything about your feet. I'm sorry I'm talking about them so much. <laughs> no worries, bro. I have a great stream. Be lurking for food. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, man. Enjoy your, uh, enjoy your break. Enjoy your break. And then the factory must grow. The farm must grow. Also, The Long Dark is a great game. Gotta pick that one back up sometime. Uh, what do we have? We didn't get any of our fall crops. But we do have a wild plum. Wow. That's wild. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, I didn't expect that from myself. But where does the wild plum belong? Philosophers have asked, Whence came the wild plum? Where is it going? There we go. Okay, now I just need a, a shroom. Clear the inventory go before you make sure you have food. Yeah, I'm feeling like um, maybe now is a pretty good time for the mine. It would be nice if you had... Is there Maybe there's a mod for it, like default inventories. I mean, neutral spirits, clear mine. I'm like, that's pretty good. That's about as good as we've had. We've waited a long time to go back to the mine. I say we go to the mine. I love it. Although, I need a lot of time to mine. And a lot of this stuff is food, so I think I'll just leave it. I haven't been, like, such a crazy loot goblin, but I've been good. I might need to make a third chest. I really haven't been very organized, but this year has mostly just been a learning game. Learning game, learning game. Ooh, graveyard keeper, too. Well, I kind of wanted to open up the door to doing a lot more of these, like, farming sim types of games. There's so many of them out there now. Like, ever since Stardew, I suppose, and... It just seems like I've missed out on a lot, and I've spent so much time doing other stuff on YouTube. I'm like, oh, man, I really would have liked to do this stuff, and I just kind of started to feel it lately. I was like, oh, the years are catching up to me. I am growing old. Hang on a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. People are trying to sell me something already. These enemies spawn very close to that start. I like this guy. Hang on a second. Um, okay, we enter another one of those long, grindy cave endeavors, which, as you know, means that we have to have a, a topic to talk about. What should we talk about? I feel like it's kind of... Uh, hmm. Or really, is there anything I'm missing before I do this? Well, before I get into it, let me make sure that I'm just doing the cave some justice here. One thing that I was told that I need to do a little bit more of, and I think this is probably smart, is to uh, use my hoe on the ground. We could do this, I guess. And does this get me carrots, like cave carrots and stuff like that? Or is there some kind of loot that I'm looking for? And also, is there a place that's more likely I'll find it? Like, is it on one of those craters I'll more likely find cave carrots? Um, hands versus feet, and not a bad topic. Hmm. Clay and carrots, yes. So is there a way that you can, like, expect to find it? Because my fear with this is, what if I expend more energy trying to find a cave carrot than I do getting one? They may spawn... Ooh, artifacts or cave carrots. That's not bad. Although I just feel like... Well, maybe I'll do it as like a last-ditch effort. You know, if I'm really screwed. Like, I hate life. I need a carrot. And then maybe everything improves for me from there. Right, we are getting neutral luck, so like neither bad luck nor good luck, so we should get like normal boy spawns. There we go. Normal boy. I can't go in there, right? No. Teleport tablet helps a lot. I don't think we have that. Oh, cave carrots often drop from barrels. Yeah, maybe it's like barrels are the biggest loot, are they? Is there anything else that I'm missing in the mines? Just because I felt like a bit of a dingus when I was doing this the last times. I want I do want to play the game well, although I had to learn a lot when I went there. Ooh, secret bag. Coal, interesting. Did I talk about old school runescape? No, do people want me to talk about, why do you guys want to learn about old, I don't really know anything about old school runescape. I played it back in the day. I played it recently again too. 
Well, I guess when I say recently, I mean like 2020. I haven't really played it in a while. Yeah, I like that game. I like the sand crabs, but it, I prefer the AFK strategies. I just think it's fun to game it, but it starts to, again, just kind of feel like, why am I doing this? It's very satisfying, that game, I gotta say, though. Like, getting a nice set of armor. OSRS. It appeals to my type of brain. The factory must grow. Although it does kind of become a religion if you play it. One of my, uh... One of my YouTuber friends who really likes it is... I, well, I think Settled does it in a really nice way. And Jimmy. Jimmy also is a very good storyteller, I think. Settled and Jimmy. I don't know Settled. I do know Jimmy, though. And Jimmy does Settled. And Jimmy's a very nice boy. A very nice boy. Actually, Jimmy, we were going to do some RuneScape. Uh, not RuneScape. RimWorld together again. We had a great time playing RimWorld. He's, he's a very funny dude. I like him. Not that that should... I don't know why I said <laughs> He's just a very, like, enjoyable guy to play games with. Yeah, he's he's got, like, a, a good wonky sense of... Not really, like, wonky sense of humor. I don't know what it is. Like, yeah. He, uh... He makes me laugh in a way that other people... Ra like, he, he tickles a spot that... I'm not gonna go any further. You know, like, he's... He has an offbeat and interesting sense of humor. Yeah. He sees things like no one else sees. He's a crazy guy. Oh, yeah. Elevator time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. I like that. Man, look at my energy staying alive. Where am I getting all this energy? How have I lost this much health? Um, 28 health. 5 health. 11 health. What is the best ratio of energy to health? I should probably have checked that. Whatever, I'm just going to eat random food and not really pay attention. Yeah, one might say that he shivers my timbers. Timbers my... Um, no. As Gen Z might say, shiver me timbers. One might say. Yeah, I wish I had a little bit of time for that game, though. Though the thing is that the OSRS community is also, um... I observed a few years back, and I'm not... It's, most of the community seems wonderful, but then there's probably... Maybe, perhaps, more than the communities that I'm used to being in. There's a number of them that are very critical, because they've been in the game for a long time, I think. So I always notice that, like... Like, if you, you don't just kind of hang out in the old school runescape. Like, once you're in it, you're in it for life, so. You know, that was the main reason why I never really got into it. I could probably be like a visitor once, but I would never make anything of real, I don't know, interesting value. The one thing that I, I struggle with, though, is um playing MMOs or any game like that, and then like just doing a little bit of it. No, like if you do one WoW video, you turn into a WoW YouTuber. I guess Asbon Gold is one of the few exceptions who, like, went out into other stuff. But, um... Yeah, like, it's it's tricky because once you go into that type of thing, then you kind of, like, you get people used to the idea that you're going to be creating content for that game, which a lot of the people who play MMOs don't really watch as many videos. I'm generalizing by a lot here. Obviously, people have their own individual tastes, but, yeah, generally speaking, like, in aggregate, the MMO crowd is there to see that game. Um, and, like, I don't really... I never really wanted to be stuck to one thing entirely. I already had enough of that. Though I think indie gaming is a really great place to be. To a certain extent, even, like, YouTubers who do FPS games, or, like, games like Battlefield and Squad and stuff like that, kind of wind up in that genre for good. It's very hard for them to branch out. And, like, I used to think, oh, gosh, all the games that I play are, like, 2D and... Not, like, quite as mainstream, but I'm really grateful for what I do now. Because I'm like, ah, if I had done first-person stuff, I would have just been stuck to that. Like, you could get out of it, of course. But it's, it's like, funny exceptions. Okay, here we go. I'm going to die if I don't eat this bok choy. Okay, let me have this fish. I am not going to die. I will never die, obviously. Obviously. Look at me, guys. Look at me go. I, were, I was going to... I'm not going to die anymore. I'll never die. Because uh, I will live forever. 
How awesome is that? I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, can you teleport to the beach right from here? Or directly the beach, consumed on use. you kind of crazy. I don't feel like being in here anymore. I think I'm just going to be at the beach. Immortal AA. Here we go. This hammer is very satisfying, you guys. I'm completely happy that I use it. That's a normal way to talk about a hammer. Why does everything that come out of my mouth just come out of it in the wrong way? If you said things the right way, it wouldn't be interesting. I am walking through the cave. I was wondering if I just had an incredibly short attention span. I somehow used this to my advantage. Oh, here we go. Ooh, crystal dagger. I mean, it is a dagger, which everybody did say was kind of bad, right? But you think we could go down? We could try another five or so. Uh, we could always come down here for the fishing stuff, right? But let's just do it. Maybe we won't go down any further. Ooh, look at me go. No one believed in me. Hey, judge and jury, how you doing? Sorry for giving you great anxiety at my near-death experience. I didn't mean to upset you. I think we're getting more time out of each day, though, and that's good. Like, we're... It's like, I wonder if the bamboo rod is even good enough for this level. But I felt like I was being super inefficient before, and now I do actually feel like I'm getting more out of each day. And uh, let's try maybe one more, and then after that I'll call it a day. We are getting to 10 o'clock here. I gotta get home. See my baby. Ooh, the same thing I already had. Never mind, let's go. Very nice, very nice. Okay, um... Yeah, the farm must grow. Keep going. The factory must grow. <laughs> I love that. Well, you could still go to the uh, spa, but... It'd be kind of a waste now. Consume. <laughs> oh, we have so much crap in our inventory now. So you know it's a good loot goblin game, though. Be interesting to play this game as, like, a warrior. Play Stardew Valley, but you only fight. Like, you just play it like a fighting game. <laughs> I wonder... You might be able to do that, actually. Hmm. Oh my god, a bomb! Who the hell gave me this? I may not even have time to, like, rearrange my inventory at the end of the day. Ah, uh, here you go. I have a bomb. Who doesn't love a good bomb? I don't know where I'm going with this. Not everyone loves bombs. Hmm. I'm really running out of... Running out of commentary. Ah, uh, love me some bombs. <laughs> what am I going to say next? <laughs> Everything just gets kind of stupid after a while. Okay, 11.40. I wish to rise from the slumbers with more energy. Oh, you can blow up rocks. That's nice. Maybe I'll bring my, up all my bombs down at the end. Oh, what is this? Level 4 combat? Warrior ring. Alright, um, uh, we did all that even without the luck. I bet you we could get many, many, many floors down. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, it's really awful. How many of these quests have we done? Oh, raising animals. Oh, hell yeah. It took almost only like 50 years to finish that quest. That's great. Why no recycling? Oh, is that better than throwing it in the... Um... Well, tell me about that. Is that better than throwing it into the collector thing? I legitimately did not know that. Would I be better off uh, recycling it? What should I, should I do that with, um, trash? Ooh, we may be able to go into the mines again. The mines. The mines! Okay, donate to the museum. Yeah, I may just very well go back to the mines now. Can we get any money from our crops today? 
Uh, I want the energy. I might just save some of these eggplants for, like, food while we're down there. I don't know what else to do, yeah. All right, I'm doing it. I'm not gonna scythe that thing yet, but let's just live with it. I mean, the mines are gonna be a great place to go. We just have good luck today. Yeah. Voted graveyard. Graveyard keeper would be good to do. My main thing I want to do is I want to stick with Stardew for a little while. Maybe I'll do something else like that. But it is a big commitment to play this. Like, 100 days takes a long time. I would say it's going to take me about 24 hours to get through this entire run. I might have to pick something a little bit smaller in scope, but, um... Yeah, these are like the types of projects I can spend a little bit more time on. You know, like, rather than... I would say that much time and then editing it kind of takes the life out of the project for of it for me. Like, right now, I do feel a little bit tired of it at times. I think, throughout the year. Maybe it's because I've been doing it through one week. But gradually, like, as I go through the next couple of challenges, I feel like... I feel like I'm just going to start enjoying it more. Yeah, like, it's funny. I didn't think I would get to that point. Because I did get a little bit allergic to gaming at one point. It was like, oh, I like this, but... There's all these other things I want to do, and now I feel like I've just varied up all my daily stuff that I do. Which is like another uh, enough other stuff on the channel that I'm... I, I don't know, I was really just feeling enthusiastic even about editing the other day. Which is kind of important if you're giving feedback to a bunch of editors, you know, like... Be like if you were teaching writing, but you weren't enthusiastic about writing. But it does come back, and one great thing about creative pursuits like that is... Sometimes putting them down for a little while is like... Kind of brings the life back in them to you, you know? It's funny though, like, that's kind of a life lesson for me. Never in my life did I think that playing video games would feel like something that was like, oh, this... I didn't dislike it, but just sometimes it felt like executing on a formula, you know? And I, I think just changing it up every, like, once a year everything needs to be changed up, you know? Otherwise, I think things get boring to you. But let that be a lesson to you, too. I'm like, I feel like I'm one of the w few weird people who can learn this lesson. It's like, oh, even eating ice cream, if you do it too much, becomes kind of a chore. Like, whatever you do repeatedly becomes work in a way. Um, and now that I have changed, I'm like, okay, yes. I forgot that I had a violent and problematic addiction to video games. And that's really the, like, root cause of all of this. But yes, I do have that. Like, if I spend one week, you know, out in nature, I will enjoy it again. It's funny to me is when people don't have that. Like, when they just kind of do it all the time. But those are the different kinds of YouTubers on that type of thing. Like, some people will just play one game forever. And I don't really understand how they do that. I would find that boring. I really, I really like doing the variety stuff. Building a silo for the feed, especially if winter comes. Yeah, I'm. Th where do we actually get the food itself? The food itself. Where does whence does that come? Okay, I can't really sell too much of this. I think I'm gonna bring the eggplants with me into the mine because I just want to handle that. Bomb at the entrance of the cave. The uh, rock at the. Oh wait a minute! We can use that bomb. Do you mean the entrance? Hang on a second. Yeah, let's go ahead and figure that out. Bomb. Do I need anything else? I'll get cherry bombs too, just in case if I could use any of that for anything. But yeah, the bomb. Is that the one where there's the big rock wall? I think I want to go a little bit further down today. Okay, amphibious ambiguan. Build a silo before winter. Probably when I get my money back, I will. Where was the other rock entrance, I want to say? I don't know why he's here. Is he, like, is he peeping or something? It's getting to be like the Pokemon games. Realm of the Mad God. Well, I was learning this from a friend of mine who's a psychologist, that she says, like, when you do something with an end for it, it, like, drains the pleasure out of it for you. It's funny. Which is why I feel like I just spent so much... It's funny, though, to cultivate fun. The best things in life are fun. 
hated it if it's because it cuts down on the content I consume very much. I enjoy full form bots with. Amen to that. Let's have a silo. Have you heard of the summon? Um, the reddish rock right at the entrance. Hang on a second. I need to figure out what you're talking about. Is that the entrance to the fighting cave, or is it a different one? Like the, um, I guess the dungeon, we'll call it, for lack of a better term. I really haven't... Well, really, the mines. Is it the mines, or is it the other mines? Like, there was one rock wall that looked like it could be exploded somewhere else, you know? Hmm. I want to say... Here? Well, let me go bring the bomb over. Let me ask you, where do you want the bomb? <laughs> Where do you want this bomb? The village mines just past the ladder. It's not this thing, right? Like, that looks like it could be exploded. The village mines just past the ladder. Oh, this thing. Is this what you're talking about? Okay, so I put this... Do I put it next to it? Oh, use the cherry bomb. Oh, use the cherry bomb. Okay, hang on a second. I have two cherry bombs. Jesus Christ. Oh, look at that goat. That's very nice. Ooh, I unlocked a very shady character back here. Who is this man? Why have you been living? Yeah, who's an on? Okay, dwarf. The hell? What does he give? We get all four dwarf... Oh, once you get the dwarf scroll scrolls. Dwar dwarf scroll? <laughs> Where am I going with this? Why do I start talking like a child when I say too many words? <laughs> That's not what I expected it to sound like when it came out of my mouth. I was sounding perfectly coherent, and then I just start speaking with a lisp. Or not even a lisp, whatever that is. What do you call that thing? Kyo. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, it's so easy to get up and down now. Look at that, we just had a ladder right away. I guess I'll just destroy some of these. Ooh, nice, I got a little bit of knockback on him. I feel like I can move around now. I feel a little bit better, at, more confident with the combat. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Wasn't expecting that again. Hmm. You want a plush of those enemies? Yeah, I feel like that this game is very plushable. You know, they could do that if they wanted to. Do they make that stuff for Stardew? I, I want to say that they do. I feel like I've seen that. Maybe I'm wrong? Oh, now I actually have to mine. This is surprising and upsetting. Uh, I wonder where I will find the next entrance. Though my stamina has seriously improved, I think just gradually over time, that now I'm not really spending as much time, like, um, you know, just wrestling my energy going down so fast throughout the day, which was a pain. That was a lot to kind of handle. Oh, I like this kind of floor where it's really open and... Oh, Jesus, he just transposed through me. He transfixed something. He transported through me. There he goes. Hm. Ooh, look, the bat was shy, but now it is coming out of its special place. Here we go. Oh, goddamn bats. Oh, Jesus, he did it again. These ghosts are kind of a pain. Man, these ghosts are a real pain. Sometimes the things that I say in video games just sound like lines out of Spongebob or something like that. <laughs> I just feel like... Oh, hey, cave carrots. We did need those. Okay, remind me not to eat both of the cave carrots because we do need one of them for the museum. Um, or not the museum, you know, like the... The community center, yeah. Are they from Spirited Away? Not as far as I know. Oh, did they make Stardew Valley chicken plushes? I wonder who made those. Is that like a YouTube thing? Or maybe they just made them on their own. Yeah, like, I don't know. I find the creator very interesting. 
Like, that he just threw himself at making this game. It's kind of wild. Oh my gosh, wow, we found gold ore. I did not realize that we were able to find this yet. That is great. Where did- I just found that from a normal rock. That's kind of crazy. I thought we had to go down further. Okay, uh, gold at- what level are we at? Like, 60-something? That's pretty good. I didn't expect that we would get it that early. Oh gosh, more of it! Okay, okay, yeah, we're going through with it. Um, what kind of rock is most disposed to having gold, I suppose? That is to ask the question. Can you just get to the end of a floor and there's just no, um, like, entrance to the next level? Is that possible? That would be so depressing. Oh my god. Yeah, you come all the way down here just for that. Gold is rare here. I don't know. What don't I know? Tell me! <clears throat> Tell me your secrets. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> I thought... <clears throat> Excuse me. I thought we had a good luck day. Maybe now that I'm down here, it's not a good luck day. Oh, did I even check the news today? Man, I'm... The days are starting to blend together. That was pretty good luck. See, that was surprisingly bad luck on the last floor. How do you quantify the luck? Oh, this is a pain. There's so much other stuff in here. Is it ghost is just bothering me. Please stop bothering me. I don't appreciate that. Have I heard? No, I don't want to hear about your goat. I hope you have a great time with your goat. Uh, I'm not, I, the goat is not of my concern right now. Why is there a, oh my God, look at this, a ghost fish. All right, fine, tell me about your goat. I'm honestly, now I'm kind of curious about your goat. Heard of goat. This sounds like the setup to an elaborate practical joke. I don't trust you and what you're selling. Leave me. Leave me here in the mine. Although it would be nice if I could find more gold. I need like gold nodes. Do you think those are down here? Down. I am the goat. Oh my gosh, I feel so gotten. Wow. Have you heard about the goat? You are the goat. Oh my god, that's actually quite funny. Oh, I feel so good about myself. Thank you. Wow, that was very nice of you. That was one of the most elaborate practical jokes. <clears throat> Have you heard about the goat? Ah, <laughs> but thank you. Well done, well done. <laughs> We have, we have satisfied him. He is happier now. Yes, I love it when people tell me that I'm the goat. I don't care when people call me, don't call me the goat. I might be like the, the woat, like the worst of all time. Woat. He is the, oh my God. It's like a disease. How did this happen down here? The farm must grow! And you all die. That, I got a lot of experience from that. Jeez. This must be great for my experience. Okay, that was not good. Eggplant time. Um, hmm. I think I've already donated one eggplant so I can just start consuming the rest. Consume. Consume. And I need to have one of the cave carrots too, I believe. There we go. Good. Yet another. And there we go. Cool. I guess I'll save the ghost fish, because that seems like rather important and rare. It was it was probably lucky that I found that in the first place. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's midnight. All right, I'm leaving. Sorry. I, goodbye, mine. I don't know why I'm apologizing to the day. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe that's like a childish thing. Oh, no. I'm up past my bedtime. Sorry. Just like a, a horrible tendency. I'm sorry. You ever get that? I do that because my schedule is really weird nowadays. And I've just sort of like found a... Oh, I kind of got back into a better schedule. But yeah, I had a weird schedule for a while. Um, I was staying up very late. I'd stay up like into the middle of the night. I don't really do it anymore. But I did a while for videos and I felt like, oddly bad. Like I shouldn't be staying up this late. Like, the rest of society doesn't do this. And, uh... 
Yeah, I don't know why. I, I'm glad I got rid of that. I, I feel nothing now based on when I go to sleep. It does kind of throw you off sometimes, though, if your schedule is all over the place. I don't think that's good. Hmm, what am I going to do now? Fortune teller. Do their best to make your... Okay, so, yeah, we should definitely not go into the mines today. Ooh, berries, berries, berries. Oh, Jesus Christ, I did not mean to do that. Berries. Oh, you can just hold it down. That's so much easier. Ah, the joy of berry picking. I love it. These cranberries give me joy. And satisfaction. There's nothing as satisfying as picking cranberries. Oh my god, I love every second of my life. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah. Cranberries might be the most satisfying thing to pick. All right, I, I, I think I might, I think I might have to mush them with my feet. Are we ready for that much? <laughs> uh, I'll stop saying it now. Head back up to the mine. I will head back up the. M oh well, that was from last night. I think we did a good job, though, with that stuff. Um, where are we at in terms of number of gold nuggets? Three gold ore. Um, alright, so... Three gold ore. What we really need... I would really like to get... F well, I need five times however many I'm gonna do to make these sprinklers. After that, then we could go through the mine at various intervals, but... Yeah, like, you know, we needed this year to unlock all the basic stuff, I feel like, just to kind of get the game going. Next year, then we could start to look at stuff, and then the year... Whoops, I've already watered some of these. My bad. Then the next year, we could start to, like, go further. Go further beyond than anyone ever has before. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Cool. Woo! Watering, watering. Yeah, I feel like when I run out of things to say, like, there really isn't much. It's like mind like water when you're, well, not in a reference to me watering, but just whenever you're playing this game. It seems oddly satisfying. Though I've always felt puzzled how people could feel. Man, but it is just beautiful. Maybe I could enjoy it if I were younger. It's blackberry season right now. The bushes are full of them. I want to pick some, but I lost my basket. Can you help? All right, Linus Tech Tips has gone insane, and he's picking blackberries, and he's lost, not only that, but he's also lost his b his basket for picking them, and now he's going... Ah, <laughs> uh, Linus. Purple amaranth can be harvested with a scythe. My fear about harvesting that stuff, though, right now is just that what if I cut down the other crops with it, so I'm gonna wait. Is it okay to wait until they've grown? to do it? Or does the scythe get only the, um, <laughs> Linus has lost it, everyone. Um, <laughs> um, uh, that's a funny thought. <laughs> Homage. Homage time. Oh, you won't? You'll be fine? Okay. I believe you, DJ. You have been good to me over the years. I trust you. I'll probably do it wrong, though. Alright, let me go ahead and try to scythe it. Oh, you know what? I have to do it with the right... Oh, there we go. I did it with the right click and it made everything okay. Okay, I see what you're saying now. I'm not such a dingus. Um, wheat. One of the most widely cultivated grains makes for... Ooh, cool. Um, we really hadn't done any wheat before, I suppose. Hmm. Some of the stuff I might save. Let me put some of it in my fridge. Oh, take a look near the tunnel. Ooh, okay, thank you. I will do that. Ooh, that is helpful. Yeah, like a little quick payoff there. I like that. Hmm. Good stuff. Hmm. All right. So now all the crops are watered. The mines are not to be entered today. We are finally going to get back some of our money. 
Um, how do we get animals? I guess that's the next thing I want to know is... Yeah, how do we get animals? Well, first off, I'll go into this tunnel. Because I'm supposed to. Oh, did I miss some cranberries in the middle? I'll go back in a second. Thank you. So I'll go back here. This is for the Linus quest? Okay, so let me just make sure I've quest, uh, request, requested the quest. <laughs> I have requested the quest. Uh, I don't see it. Oh, Marnie sa- um... Where was the basket? I thought he left his bat. What? what kind of moron- Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, what kind of moron would go to a goddamn tunnel? <laughs> like, looking for berries. I wonder if the berries are growing in the tunnel. <laughs> oh my god. A barn coop first. I do have the coop. I guess I should go back to um, Robin, though, with more money. Robin keeps asking for me for more of money. Hmm. Man, I'm just dizzied. I guess there must be a checklist of things to do, you know? Like, I've kind of had the impulsiveness of just going straight to the store when I should be going to, like, the museum and the, um... Like, the town center. Now I think I get the, like, the kind of loop of the game. More so. Yeah, like, let's go to the community center with some of these things. Even the frozen geode is is wanted there. The ghost fish, the gold are... Oh, we've got a lot of stuff for that now. Um, what are the other cranberries? Where was I missing cranberries in the middle? Am I good? I, I think I'm good, maybe. Maybe I missed something, but I'm just gonna leave them, I guess. Cranberry is a lot of money. Oh, I missed watering next to the scarecrow. Okay. Eh. Well, I guess I'll have to do it at the end of the day. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Where does Linus live? Um, I'm going to go to the community center, and then you guys tell me where Linus lives. I don't, I don't know where to bring him his stupid berry basket. Oh, north of Robin in a tent. Thank you. Oh, he's the homeless gentleman. Okay. Thank you. You never hear someone... Oh, you must be the homeless gentleman. <laughs> Genteel. Oh my God. Where am I going with this? It's never enough. Here we go. Hey, Linus. Hey, Linus. My basket. Thank you. This means a lot to me. What is my reward? The farm must grow. Okay, I guess just good fortune. They do say it is good fortune to help, you know, those in, uh, what is it? So I try to donate a lot so that I get very lucky, and then I do something that, and then I take a, a check that requires a lot of luck. I say, what is next? So she's got the coop. Oh, damn. So can she just get the coop? I mean, I've already got a coop, so why is she offering me, offering me another one? How can I get more farm buildings from her? Um, demolish buildings. Move buildings. No. That is not to be had there. Where do I get the silo? Oh, arrows at the bottom. Thank you. Why did I not see that? Oh, there! That was so invisible to me. Oh my god, I feel like an idiot. Wow. Okay, I'm seeing where this is going now. This is nice. Oh, holy cow, there's really a lot that you could build. Jesus Christ! Wow, that is impressive. So I want a barn as well, so I guess I'll get some wood and more money. Wow, I gotta go clear some land now, because I think I wanted the barn most of all. Yeah, I wanted to get like, I don't know, cows and pigs or something like that. Thought that would be fun. Animals are a favorite part of the game. Yeah, that seems nice, like having something else that's moving around on the land. And then I kill them. No, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, but it does seem like, you know, it would be interesting if you could get other laborers on the farm. The farm must grow. Maybe I could get, like, uh, intelligent animals. 
that could contribute somehow to the war. <laughs> I, I'm running out of it. I, I do, uh, like, maybe this isn't... I, I sometimes wonder, though, if this isn't the game for me. Because I feel like my mind, when I play games like this, goes straight to, like, well, we need to automate the process, you know? Like, I can never really sit with, you know, like, I should toil in the soil to do the work. I feel like that we need to be getting sprinklers, you know? Like, my mind goes to Factorio, and that kind of freaks me out. Like, that maybe I'm not enjoying the game the right way. That maybe I'm not the norm, you know? One second. Where am I supposed to bring these? Winter foraging. Uh, no, I can't find where the hell am I supposed to bring these. Wheat. I wonder what wheat, where, where does wheat go? Wait a second. Wheat. So can I, how do I figure out where this is? Or do I just have to, frozen geode? Okay, the ghost fish, I clearly know that goes with the fish. None of these things can be used though. The bomb. <laughs> Would you like to donate a bomb to the community center? <laughs> oh my God. I just use my brain for a second. Wheat. Wheat. Where am I going to get wheat? Fall. It seems like it would be with the crops, right? Hmm. Spring, no. Winter, no. Yeah, nothing. I just want to be at the book when it's asked for. Fun fact, the developer actually started out with the playing idea of slaughtering your animals, but he found it too grotesque. Oh, you can't slaughter... Well, do they lay eggs and stuff like that? That'd be kind of interesting. Lay an egg, or else I'll kill you. <laughs> hmm. No. Yeah, it seems to me like, you know, now having gone through most of the seasons in the game, maybe animals would have been even better, because I presume they can go year-round, right? Like, wouldn't that just be a simpler way of running your farm? Like, I'm just basically going to run a ranch? No crops? Yeah, now that I... Say that, I'm like, uh, what? it seems so obvious. Why didn't I just do that? Oh, there's also, like, an opportunity. There's a startup cost, too, and I didn't really know how the game worked. So there is that. Hmm. Now, where is the fro frozen geode and wheat? I wonder where those belong. Joy, ten no, this one is just the red joy. quartz. Where am I going to put this? Hey, anger management, thank you very much for the ten months... Jesus Christ, and with a T3 sub, thank you very, very, very much. That's really, really generous of you. And, like, you are it's always very nice to me. Thank you, I appreciate it. Oh, the bulletin board. My bad. Thank you. I totally missed that. Sorry about that. You guys were saying it, and I missed it. And now I feel bad. Oh, I don't have 10, though. I need 10. Okay, here we go. Frozen Geode, though. That one's nice. Mm, I think that's it. Yeah, I need to make an egg. I need you to lay an egg for me. If you want to finish off this community center, get to laying. Hmm. It's a good time. It's a good time laying an egg. If you've never tried it. Oh, damn you, restocking your own shelves. Get behind the counter, you. I hate you. <laughs> Get in there. Work. Have you ever tried pushing the NPCs to... Wait a minute, does it work? Oh, no, he's getting angrier. Look at him, he's vibrating with anger. Is he upset now? Oh, use the register. I've, I've upset him. <laughs> Why can't I do it? <laughs> Take the register. Can I do that? What if I swing my hammer at it? <laughs> just <laughs> take it. If you can. <laughs> if you can't get their attention, just swing a hammer at the place until. That's why whenever you go to the convenience store, be sure to bring a hammer with you. Oh, it's six. God damn him. And his hours of operation. Oh, well, what we can do at this point in the day is just put them into the, like, container. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, you're right. I could do Jojimart. That would probably be a good idea. 
Ah, there's not much else I gotta do. Okay, let me just water these crops because I forgot. Oh yeah, you're right. Thank you very much. I missed that. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, mm -hmm. I don't believe that we need the very good ones this time as it happens. A purple grain cultivated by an ancient civilization. Uh, Batwing. We don't really have any trash in here. Solar essence, I feel like we could use for something else. I'm just going to leave that. Okay, um, hmm. Bombs and all of this stuff. This is mostly just mine loot, so that's fine. Gold. I really know why I'm keeping copper with me. I guess I don't need that. And 475 stones. Yeah, I'm good on that. Sweet. Cool. All right, here we go. Hmm. Think I'm good. All right, let's see if I can get my energy back. Uh, or 7.30 p.m. Now I'm starting to gauge. Okay, now I can feel like I'm actually doing all the right things I'm supposed to be doing during the day. Like, yeah, I could go to the... I could go to the spa. Is there a better way to get your energy back? Just because I feel like that's kind of a chore. Or is there, like, some sort of spa teleportation thing? Like, that, that is kind of rough, having to go all that way just to get your energy back at the end of the day. I suppose it makes sense to not have it right next to the farm, because otherwise it would be too easy then, but... I do kind of wonder about that, you know? Eating is the only other way. Yeah. I guess just cooking up a lot of stuff. Did you say that if you have a spouse, that, like, they will sometimes spend their time cooking recipes inside or something like that? Like, helping you. Maybe that's a good reason to do it. Kind of like the old, the old way. The man would go out onto the farm and farm. <laughs> oh my god. I'd remember the old way. <laughs> uh, someone prepared to- okay, so no luck today. That is not good. Feed the animals and rarely- oh, really? Oh, I gotta get married then. Hang on a second. It's more cost effective. All right, what is the lady that I can get to marry me fastest? Guys, my entire purpose in life has immediately changed. I'm going to get some lady to like me by throwing food at her. <laughs> Honestly, not inaccurate. Not inaccurate. Please love me. <laughs> Um, Leah likes veggies. Which one is Leah? It worked with me. <laughs> Penny if you buy her salads at the bar. I like that. I guess I, get, I have a lot of money to buy you salads. I could buy you a lot more salads, babe. Why don't you come to my house and water stuff? I'm, I'm literally doing this in order to get a laborer. <laughs> this is a wrong... This is not the right commitment, AA. How could you? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, babe. <laughs> Some vegetables. <laughs> I like the idea of throwing food. Oh, the sunflower. Cool. Um, sunflowers. Oh, Haley with the sunflowers in the fall. That's nice. Um, is there one who- okay, wait, who is the lady with the salad? Salad- get me with the salad lady. Fascinate a woman by giving her a piece of cheese. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I feel like I missed the- What is it? it sounds like it could be a really funny joke. I'm trying to figure out what you meant. <laughs> penny, salads, and artifacts. Okay, penny- be my lawfully wedded wife. Penny. Um. Oh yeah, she's hot. Alright. Penny is just you how much heart meter she has. Okay. Oh yeah, Penny. Where do I find Penny? Oh wait, is she the, the book lady? No, she's not the book lady. Where can I find Penny and I throw salad at her? Take the salad, Penny. Take it and love me. Love me. Eat another piece of romaine. 
Maybe some kale. Do you love me yet? Uh, <laughs> uh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Pam is in her... Oh, pa oh, this is Pam's daughter. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the closest thing I'll get to marrying Pam. I'm really into your mom. <laughs> you marry me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Be a weird sort of pickup line. Well, I guess it's a compliment. Oh my god. Penny often teaches the kids at the library or just outside. Yeah, thanks, DJ. Oh my god. Penny, marry me. Throw a tomato at her. <laughs> Throw some lettuce. So I guess you gotta keep finding her. Can you imagine if there was some man chasing you around town with food? <gasps> Out of breath. Thank god I caught you. Have this salad. I've been searching for you for days. Please, I love you. Take me. He's all out of energy from managing his farm. I think that would be pretty romantic. You know, if not creepy. <clears throat> if it weren't creepy, it would be very sweet. I guess. Maybe. I'm adding a lot onto that. I'll use these plums. A man who's just been eating plums all day to maintain his levels of energy. He's been searching for you all around town. Oh, so she has different times and stuff like that. Okay, so she goes back to the trailer in the fall. Thank you, Nova Jean. I appreciate that. So is there a way to look it up? Yeah, that is helpful. I do appreciate that. There we go. Open from noon. Okay, so we gotta wait another 10 minutes. Let's go. Yeah. Some of it I, I do enjoy fumbling through, I gotta admit. I might not ask for it. This guy is never at the spot. I should just take the food. What is he doing back there in his bedroom? He looks exactly like, uh... Who is it that he looks like? Well, actually, no, he has too much hair, never mind. Spaghetti. I need the spaghetti. I'm gonna get like 20 salads for this la lady. She's gonna be all over me. Oh yeah. I brought you 24 salads. Hopefully these don't go bad, otherwise I'm really screwed here. Take it. Eat it. Eat the salad in front of me. She's not here. Where will I find her? This is such an odd sort of quest to be on. Where is the library again? Willow Lane, Willow Lane, Pierre's General Store, River Road, Blacksmith. Oh, the mu oh, it's the museum and the library. Okay, I will try to uh, catch her on her way back. Oh, there she is. I'll throw salad at No, don't take him. Take me. Oh, this looks special. Good. Eat another one. All right, so does she love me yet? Penny. Love me. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Okay, she's at the top now. Okay, I've given her one of the X's for the gift. So what does the other X mean? And what does this mean? Oh, should I talk to her? I guess I should talk to her, not just throw salad at her. Okay, there we go. I have spoken to her today. Ah. Okay, good. I have spoken to her today. <laughs> oh, damn it. It's Leah? Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Never mind, you weren't the right woman. I need Leah. Thank you for helping me. I'm going to toss the salad. Oh no, why did I do that? Oh, where is Leah? Which one is Leah? Where can I find her? I don't even think I've met her yet. She must be one of these mystery women. She's either this one or this one. Leah is directly to my left. Oh, thank God I found you. Oh, she's very hot. College. <laughs> a college out of dried leaves. Never mind. Oh, yeah, she's hot. Oh, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. All right, so what, if, what about it? This is IRL AA dating strategy. Um, Leah, so what does her other ex mean? 
She's walking on screen. Bottom one isn't a. I could. What, I could woo the man. What? He would. Could I, could I woo all of the women? He gave me salad as well. He. Oh, so can I possibly get to her in one season? A whole year of giving her salads. What am I, like a salad dispenser? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think this is a funny dynamic. Conveniently, she was right there. It takes a while to get people to like you. I've been giving you salad for three months and you don't even like me. <laughs> oh my god. Where do I go from here? If I had known that, I would have started giving you a salad way earlier. Can you make up for it? <laughs> you can just make up for it by giving her 50 salads in one day. Okay, let's take down some of the woods around. I want to get a barn. I want a barn. I want animals. All right, so while I toss salads and impress women, why don't you guys tell me about the uh, animals, and we'll get the animal situation going. I do want animals. I mean, I've got the chicken coop. I thought I had it all, but clearly I need to do a little bit more. Um, I need to clear some land here, clearly. Let's go ahead and handle this. Get a silo first, but you can buy animals. Oh, thank you. South of your farm at Marnie's. I ignored that a lot, DJ. I, I apologize. Thank you for saying that. Oh, uh, one second. Okay, Google. Turn on the office lights. It didn't work. Oh, no, it did work. There we go. Guys, I gotta recommend... I know everyone thinks, like, is terrified of the fact that I have this in my house. Because sometimes I just say, like, uh... Bad word that I say. Um... Dang, whatever. And then the Google, if I ever say that word in a sentence, it sometimes thinks that I'm talking to it and it hears me and it thinks that I'm cursing at it. Because I curse a lot in my house to myself. <laughs> I learned this about myself. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, maybe you have some tendencies like that too. Anyway, um, moving along with our journey for the day. You know, I'm going to eat one of these salads myself. I deserve it. Guys, the lesson to be learned here, the lesson to be learned, don't spend all your all your hard-earned G on salads for women. Save some for yourself, you know. Take good care of yourself so that you uh so that you can get the salads in the first place. I'm just saying. Or or if you're a woman, the same thing goes for the men. I'm just saying. Take care of yourself, man. Don't throw yourself don't throw yourself at salads. Don't rush in. Hmm. Those were my salad days. All the women keep stealing your salad. Only thing I needed for the silo was the clay. Oh yeah, the clay. Um, where am I gonna go get the clay? I do need worm action, right? Now I kind of know how that works. So where do I get clay if I don't have any worms left from before? Because I know that if we hoe the ground where there's worms, then we get clay, right? Just dig in spots? Okay, well, it happened to just various spot as well. Okay. In various spot. Let me do this. Eventually, perhaps I'll get some clay. Oh, maybe I just got lucky before when it was that. Sometimes by breaking rocks. Can I get it by just doing this? Or is this a total waste of my time? Oh, I can charge the hoe! Oh my gosh, look at me go. That is helpful. Uh, yeah, I don't need a lot of it, but... Let me see if I can do it by breaking rocks. I haven't broken rocks in a while, anyway. I guess I should have gone to the mine. The mine. Where? How have so many rocks just, like, blown in? Whoops. That was weird. Can I charge the pick? No, I can't. The pick cannot be charged, unfortunately, it seems. Clay comes from Knight's Pattern. Uh, every time you... Uh, oh, interesting. Really? Oh, so if you could find one, then it goes in the pattern of a knight in chess? Really? 
Really? It's kind of crazy. I mean, there's so much grass around here, I might just have to... No, nah, I shouldn't be doing that. I mean, I want to see if I can find more worms, but I don't want to kill all of my grass that's going to be useful for the animals. Look at what a beautiful field of grass I have cultivated. You see in the areas that I've got up there. No, I still can't see anything. Hey, Cthulhu Heart. Thank you very much for the 100 bits of the YouTube content. Hey, thank you very much. I'm happy you've enjoyed it, and I hope it's helped you enjoy more of whatever you found it for in the first place. Thank you. Um... Ah, there's just fewer strikes to break. Hang on a second. 8.40 p.m. I still got some time left in the day. Now I, I'm making full use of all the days, though, and I'm not just, like, letting days go. I felt bad about that, but, you know, I I didn't really get it. And it is kind of a pain to go all the way back up there. Ah. Clay. I do need the clay, yeah. What is the easiest? Is there an easier way for me to get clay, or should I just randomly dig around? Maybe I'll just keep randomly diggering around. I do have some clay in my storage. Yeah, let me go get it. Hmm. Clay. Where was it? I've I was aching for clay. Clay aching. I have eight. Okay, that's pretty good. I need only ten. Will hoeing eventually get me to the clay that I need? Oh, this is kind of cool. So you can get three spots from just one space. Uh, what happens if I change my mind? <laughs> nope. Okay, it doesn't really kill everything. Oh, thank you. I almost lost my energy. But does it not work? Hmm. All right, let me go. Oh, I'm not really going to be able to get much done in two hours. Maybe now I did it again. Amphibious Ambigian says, if I watched the FTL VODs in the last couple of days, any future FTLs? Oh, I love FTL. For some reason, yeah, I saw those videos got like a little bit back, back more on uh, promoted on YouTube. I love doing... FTL is honestly like one of my all-time favorite games to stream. I would love doing more FTL anytime. My thing is it kind of comes in spurts, so... And it's like just kind of random when I do it. I also noticed Battle Brothers like was kind of coming back. I was like, ooh, neat. I love Battle Brothers. Those are some of my favorite games. Those are some of my favorite games. I, I like playing those games totally independently of YouTube, too. And I, I love it because I can never really... Like, they're just so complete and perfect in one session. I, I do really enjoy roguelikes and roguelites. I think that's the thing I'm most thankful for. I was talking about this about, like, gaming before. I, I'm really happy that I managed to bring those games, which I, I do truly enjoy, into this a little bit. I think those are very fun to play, but I think they kind of turn off the mind in a way, too. So I wouldn't have one without the other as well. Yeah, but maybe we will. It'll be fun. The one that I find tends to be a bit too much game, but is very fun to play is Slay the Spire. And games of its ilk. Basically card battlers, deck builders, roguelike deck builders. And I find that those are just not that much fun to watch. Ooh, cake! Thanks, Mom. That's amazing. Wow, look at my mother go. No, I never played Hades, which is why I do feel sad. I feel sad because I... <laughs> I do. It's a good reason to feel sad. I'm waiting for it, you know? Age of Wonders 4. I thought Age of Wonders 4 was great. I didn't expect that I would like it as much as I did. Um, it's basically like fantasy civilization with way more in it. Um, although I wasn't really a big Civ player, I played Civ with Spiff and Potato McWhiskey about a week before that. Um, Civ had been on sale, and I was like, ooh, this will be a fun opportunity. But yeah, I mean, it's like, it's got heroes and, um, I don't know, like magical spells and stuff that you wouldn't get in Civ. I do wonder, like, how long the technology tree goes on. Um, ooh, here we go. Artichoke. Look at that. Yeah, I don't really play a lot of those games on the channel. Um, for me, it's a matter of just, like, trying to find interesting premises that work. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll really play it again on the main channel anytime soon, but I did like that. I thought it was very high production value. Paradox has really been like, all their games have been really big efforts. The real ones that I'm excited for this year are Life by You and City Skylines 2, obviously. Um, yeah, those are the big ones I'm looking at. I've found that I've kind of fallen into that genre mainly. 
Um, but yeah, I do want to give 4X and strategy like another go. I really kind of lost track of some of that stuff over the last year. Hades nuts. <laughs> All right, let me find that lady with the salad again today and talk to her. Hey, I brought you a salad yesterday. <laughs> I was thinking of talking to you again today just to uh, show you that I like you. And um, here's another salad. Do you like me yet? Hey, Anger Management, thank you very much for gifting the, sep uh, the sub to Kazranit. Cthulhu Heart, thank you very much for the sub. Okay, so where is Leah during the day? So around noon, she goes to the bridge to look out at the water, I guess. I wonder if this is every single day. It's Wednesday. Let me go see if I can find her. I'm going to try to find her house. This is the first... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Chicks, chicks love it when you find their house and bring salad to it. Oh no! Here it goes. Oh, I was the wrong lady. I was bringing salads too. Oh, lives south of the farm, right by Marnie. Hey, thank you, DJ. Appreciate that. West of the city, south of the farm. Thank you very much. And then we could go back on the quest for clay. Yeah, you know what I, I think this game is about is about, um, I don't know, just like making the most of all the little bits of time in the day. And I felt like I, I didn't even know what to do at all. But now I've, I think this is going to take me there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, I brought you another salad. Yeah, like me. This is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, I bet it is. So nice to live by the river. I mean, what did I say? Did I say anything to her? Okay, so if I do that for one week, does that develop one heart? No, what percentage? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need to get her 100% in love. Love me. <laughs> All right, I need some clay. I wonder if we could find clay just out here, like with the worms. But now I'm starting to feel, um... Check her birthday. Oh, her birthday would give me a boost. Yeah, that is... Oh, I kind of like that. Hey, that's a cool idea. Yeah, that's where you can check that. Man, this game has so many little things that you could check and min-max. I'm starting to see where you could kind of, you know, like, um, exploit it and stuff. Like, randomly tilling soil. Okay, is it totally random? In that case, I'm just going to go. I had noticed it on the worm, but if you guys say so, I'm going to do it. But if I get nothing, I'll be, I'll be very upset. Oh yeah, like a birthday salad. Here I come with your birthday salad. I guess I could give her a birthday cake, right? It's time for the tree. Oh yeah, there's the clay. Look at that. The traditional birthday salad. Oh yeah, you're right. That is kind of a night's pattern. I think it is anyway, right? The next one should be around here then, right? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Wow, okay, I think we have enough. Woo! Amazing. Okay, let me go to this lady and ask for a um a barn. Hey barn lady. I put this in a very like <laughs> displeasing spot for it to be. I guess I'm gonna just put it right here though. I think that makes sense. A little unoriginal, but I think it works. Um, how big is it going to be? Yeah, let's just clear a little bit more land for this thing. I want to make sure there's nothing in the way. Okay, I'm liking this now. You know, I have enough time to kind of manage all my resources and stuff like that. I think I'm starting to... I'm starting to feel like I'm getting a hang of all the stuff that I have as options. I know, of course, I'm not taking advantage of probably most of the stuff in the game, but, like... That was kind of the point of this first year, I feel like, is to go from... Like, moron to... Maybe he has some idea of what's going on around him. Hey, Achieve Nirvana. Thanks very much for the follow. Did I get chickens yet? Uh, no. 
Don't just don't speak of the coop. I don't know what I'm doing. It's time to go to Robin. But yeah, I think I I would be okay now if I were like left to my own devices. And maybe that's part of the point of this. The one thing I think is tricky about Stardew though is that I feel like every video kind of well, maybe not every video winds up the same. I feel like it lends itself very nicely to video essays. Like, here's what I did for a whole year, and it, that is satisfying. Although one thing I was hoping was that the landscape would somehow meaningfully change, you know? Um, like, uh, like that I would have bigger fields or something like that. Though I think we are kind of getting it with the animals. It's exciting to watch it in one year. I'm imagining that it won't be... Or maybe the second time through will be even better, but... All right, let's go ahead and get the barn. Oh, I forgot my wooden stone. Oh, damn it. Oh, I didn't need clay for that, did I? Oh, that was for the silo, though I do need the silo. Can I get the silo right now? Is it gonna... No, I'm pretty sure I need wood and clay. Uh, how much of it do I need? Uh, never mind, I can't even go to you now. It's also 5 p.m. I know, I messed up, I messed up. I should've gotten the silo. Thank you. Ooh, stone pathing to stop the grass from spreading. Maybe I will do that once everything is a little bit more well laid out. I just want to get the buildings, then I'll figure out where I'm supposed to move them, I think. Out of my way. Here we go. Time lapse of the farm would be satis- Ooh, that would be kind of a cool way to do it. I wonder if there's any mod that shows you a time lapse of the farm. Is that a thing? That would be really cool if you could get, like, some zoomed-out picture. Yeah. Ah, that would be cool. Is that a thing? Duke Merle, that's a good idea. On <laughs> the hundredth day, I decided to build a dam and flood the village since Leah did not enjoy my birthday sound. <laughs> oh, my God. Stardew Valley, my quest for revenge. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your salad in the hell. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where are these ideas? <laughs> Stardew Valley, but it's filled with war crimes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there is a mod. Screenshot everywhere that might help with the time lapse. Okay, there we go. I'm dying again. Ooh, screenshot everywhere. Thank you. Whoops, one second. Sorry, I'm writing that down. Everywhere. That's really cool. I would like to do that because anything where you can do that, like, man, I love time lapse videos. There's something so satisfying about just watching something like that's supposed to take a long time, but that takes, well, a short amount of time. And, like, it's very just... Yeah, like, it gives you all that same, like, serotonin release. And that's why... I, uh, that's, I think, the thing that pleases me most about making a good video. Is that it's like, ah, now I can take the whole experience of... I mean, when I think about what my channel does now really well, I suppose, it's like... I take all of these huge gameplay sessions. Like, this will have taken us, by the time we're done, 24 hours or so of gameplay, probably by the time we're done with this. And like, I kind of wanted to go back in with that, but equally important to me is being able to just create a product where somebody could watch it for like 12 or 15 minutes and then they get the experience of like, what is it like to play Stardew Valley for this long? And I think that's where I am getting old. <laughs> uh, and that I feel like, oh no, I, I can't sit down and enjoy it for a long time because I feel like I should be doing something else. I think I'm creating videos for that. That's plenty of energy. It's getting late anyway. Yeah, look at me going to the sauna every day. This kind of reminds me of all these pixel artists I used to follow on Twitter. Um, I, my Twitter used to be just filled with, like, until it just became too many because there were too many things I liked. Yeah, it was, like, all of these Twitter... Um, or all of these pixel artists, and they just tweet out like this incredible pixel art they work on every day i think there's one thing called pixel dailies which is just so cool 
One fifty AM is late. Hmm. I'll allow it. Here we go. Okay, so the silo, we're gonna get a silo and a barn. And then we'll have no money left and we'll be sad. But after that, we'll finally get animals. Um, do the animals work in the winter or will they all die? Oh, can the animals die? That seems like it would be rather depressing. Like, oh, no, it's okay. The animal just stopped. Like, it'll pick back up later when you give it more food. Don't worry about it. Just go about the rest of your day. Like, is the game that PG, I guess? Although everyone's been trying to point out, like, Hey, AA, there's something dirty in Stardew Valley for you to see. Oh, the animals just get sad. <laughs> yeah, that's like such a kind of a Nintendo type of like, Oh, it's okay, the animals just got sad. Oh, there's no food. <laughs> Teaching the wrong lessons to our children. Ah, uh, the cat was looking pretty sad today, Mom. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where am I going with this? Yeah, um, uh, we did feed our animals growing up. The pets we had, don't worry, they were well taken care of. <laughs> what was I gonna do? I'm gonna do something. Oh yeah, the expansion. Never mind. I have to go back tomorrow. It's true, though, like, I remember this happening to me in Harvest Moon as well, because I remember playing through all of Harvest Moon when I was, like, 12, and, um, on the Wii Virtual Console, and I, like, I just kind of felt sad at the end of the year, like, man, you know, I had some regrets, I, re I regressed. <laughs> I had some regrets, I felt like I, I was wishing that I could have done more, you know? Like, I felt guilt. Not really gu just like, I don't know. Um... Like, kind of helplessness. Like, there was so much that I had wanted to do. And it's probably something that I imagine, like, older people must feel if they regret not doing things earlier in life. Um, I don't know, I've, I've lived my life with very few regrets. Very few things that I regret not doing. I feel very happy, but yeah, like, I, it does kind of make you think like that, you know? I never have regretted anything. And therefore, I am morally virtuous. <laughs> Where am I going with this? I don't know why. Why am I, like, bragging about this? I have no regrets. Ah ha ha, look at me. Look how amazing I am. <laughs> yeah, these sprinklers are a little bit ridiculous. You know, if I were going back, maybe that is my one regret, is I would never would have done... Whoops, I double did that. Double dipped. There we go. Cool. Hmm, um, that, that. Cool. Alright, keep on going here. Hmm, man, the farm looks so wonderfully green. Somehow, like, pixel art crops. How did no one ever do this? They just look so good in repeated patterns. Ah. There's a bunch of other games like this now, though, that that I think of it. I, it is really only the beginning of the whole genre. Can I unlock the cave yet? Uh, get it at 25,000 earnings. Um, I'm not sure, honestly. Did I? Or is that the thing that you unlock with $25,000 in the, uh... Ooh, maybe I should do that. Yeah, I should save up 25 grand. No, I spent all the money on salad, I believe. Yeah, Graveyard Keeper is one. There's a lot of them out there now. Is Koromon another one? There's all of these other... Like, there's a whole world of kind of... I don't know if I would call them, like, cutesy. They're kind of cutesy games, but, like... They're more than that, too. Yeah, these. this would be another whole genre of games that I'm like, I really wanted to bark up that tree. Pun intended. Little cave to the left of the north exit of the farm. Demetrius shows up at some point. It's like you want bats or mushrooms. Oh, yeah, we did unlock that. Um, I wonder what, what could we do that with that? I think we said mushrooms, I want to say. Yeah, we have the better. Well, is there another sprinkler beyond the tier 2 one? It's a low mechanoid run. It's a low mechanoid run. Yeah, that is... I guess RimWorld can kind of turn into Stardew... RimWorld can kind of become any game if you want it to be. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Get that lady to build a silo. Okay, let's get her to work on the silo. And then I'll bring that salad to that lady that doesn't like me yet. 
You don't love me yet, but I'll make you. How many times a day do I need to talk to you? Please accept another salad today. No, please, I've had enough. That's fine. Please take it. Eat it. Did she just take them and throw them out? Oh, I love this. I presume that she ate them. Maybe she, like, pitied me at first. I didn't like these salads, but then I had a, a bite of it, and it was the best thing I had ever eaten. Please marry me. <laughs> Those were my salad days. She turns them into compost. Oh, yeah, check her trash. She has salad in the trash. I'm just heartbroken. I'll never speak to you. <laughs> Need something built. Construct farm buildings. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll go for the silo first, right? Oh, damn it! I need that. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna build the goddamn barn. And then I'll do the silo. F me. I'm sorry. I'm a bad person. This is such a cool UI for building. I'll put the silo in between the two of them. Okay, there goes the barn. Barn, barn, barn. Uh, start working on that in the first thing in the morning. I do need those copper bars, though. Oh, so I get the mushrooms every so often because I chose them. Okay, that's very nice. Thank you, DJ. Let me give that a try. Hmm. Look at me go. Look at me go. Man, this game is so peaceful, too. I, like, with the music changing throughout the year, I'm just going to go hand it to him. Like, it doesn't get repetitive. It's actually very calming and relaxing. I can get why this game is... Uh, like an antidote to... Uh, aren't, don't people get pretty depressed and play this game? Oh, you're depressed? Uh, let me prescribe you... Play Stardew Valley. Yeah. I think they could make another spin-off if they wanted to. This will be interesting. This is why I carried around a bunch of crap with me all day. Here we go. Okay, 18 copper bars. All right, so she's going to start working on the tomorrow. Good, I'll get the silo. Um, okay, now I bring a salad to that lady. So that she'll like me more. And then I, um... After that, then I probably... Mm, no, I don't need... Oh, no, not the sewer. Don't play by the sewer. Why are you doing that? 100 milligrams of Stardew Valley. Just asking for the good stuff. <laughs> Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum. Why are these children trying to get into a sewer? <laughs> sewer has to be a match for a big rusty key. Okay, of course. Sound logic, childish logic. Is this like a new dungeon or something? Something moving around in there. Then don't go into the sewer. Why do you need to go into a sewer? Childish behavior. Why would I stand in the in the goo? Oh, I too am scared. That's such a, like a Super Mario kind of jump. <laughs> I like that. I don't care about them. Take my salad. Where is this lady? Oh, does she go somewhere else for the day too? Maybe she, she does have other plans. She doesn't just stay inside of her house all day. I wish someone would bring me salad. So that I could gradually like them more. I love video game logic. It's so, like, bizarre. Hmm. Okay, she's not at her house. She's not at the bridge. Where is this salad woman? Please, I love you. Where does Leah go? It's a Thursday in fall at 2 p.m. Hmm. See, well, she's not at the library. She wouldn't hang out further back in the library, right? No. I did do the two gifts this week. Is that the big thing? Although it said that her conversation bar was still... She needed to be schmoozed today.
Have I tried the police station? <laughs> she was taken away. Oh my god. Not sure. I'm not sure I'm ready. Oh, guys, I don't know. I just feel overwhelmed. Lots of stuff has changed. Lots of stuff has changed. I do find this game a little bit like... Maybe it's the fact that I'm so late to the punch or something like that. Okay, yeah, let's just use salt water. <laughs> Does that actually affect it in any way? Um, let's go back to the ocean. I just kind of want to do some fishing. It's good that you can vary the activity, but... Yeah, I can't help but feel like... More than anything else, I feel a little bit overwhelmed, if I'm being totally honest with you. It's like... That's good, though. That's good. I know that I'm just going to feel pain the first time I play it through. But that's because my brain is creating new pathways to understand the game. I feel like if I were to restart now, I would be way better off. And that's part of it. Is I feel bad. Like, I should restart. Yeah, there we go. Right, good. Another worthless sea cucumber. Okay, I'll go back to her house and try to bother her then, I suppose. Hey, I, I couldn't find you around town, so I, I came to your house after I looked it up online where you might be standing normally at this time of day. and I just wanted to say, uh, uh, listen to whatever you observe randomly about the universe. Let me get this lady. You know, it'd be nice. <laughs> Let me get her. Uh, it'd be nice if I could achieve animal and wooing lady by the end of the year. Especially if she likes salad this much. I love how every character in these games has one trait. My name is Leah, and I enjoy salad. Oh, damn it! Above the blacksmith. Uh, I guess I'll just keep looking around for her. Yeah. It seems tricky, though. If Like, where would you find them if you didn't have the... I guess you kind of get a hang of where they usually are. This used to happen in... Um, the original game that I can think of this with was Herbs. Or uh, Sims Bustin' Out. For GBA. Where every character had, like, a specific spot that they would hang out. All the time. And that was... Uh, it got to be a lot to keep track of, but, yeah, there were some that were tricky to track down. Oh, there she is. Yeah, you're right. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. LedX314. Thank you very much for the sub. Hmm. Uh, you don't need a salad today. There's actually a lot of wild food in this area, if you know where to look. Oh, so she's like some for sort of foraging lady. Okay, 23rd of winter. Totally normal. My birthday is the 23rd of winter. So she does love that. Thank you. Let's help. All right. Cool. I guess I'm going home. Um, no one will ever love me. <laughs> I I wish I had start I wonder if I'll even be able to get that at all in the by the end of the year. Oh, well. I mean, I've got the main thing I need. I got my silo. I got my anim- I'll have my animals. I am an established farmer now. It is time to woo the women. Hey, Bloob Meat Met. <laughs> Bloob Meat. Bloob Met. Thank you very much for the 30, uh, bits. Hmm. It's so peaceful. It's time to cut down all of the trees again. Yeah, I just feel, like, overwhelmed when I play this game. But I am getting about to that time of the stream when I usually start to, like, fade. We've been here for about three hours. I streamed for about six hours today. I, I don't know what it is. Guys, I really feel like, um, just making... It's good, though, because I've felt like just making creative content again. I'm like, I've done so much stuff in the background. I'm gonna be looking at a bunch more of the editor's videos today. Um, and yeah, like, fortunately I'm pretty, like I said, like, there's a lot of people, uh, who did a good job, so I'm like, man. Um, but it's great, because the, the fun part is that when you get, like, a little team, people can kind of work off of each other, and that makes it a little bit more fun, like, you can kind of share strategies a little bit, 
So I think that's fun. And I don't know, I've just, I've kind of wanted to work in a team again with people and not just on my, on my own. I liked working on my own for a while, but now I'm, I feel like, like I'm ready to be back. Um, there's so many things in like school and work and life where you need to kind of show up for the team and like be with everybody. But I gotta say like two years of just making stuff on my own made me very much feel like I wanted to be back in the middle of it all again now. And I, I feel thankful for that. Um, at least that I've kind of come around at this point in time. Yeah. It's amazing. I must have, like, energy. Yeah. So we could sell some of this stuff. Man, this really doesn't look particularly... <laughs> we need to change this for the final thing. You know, let me just cut down these trees, because I'm not going to want these here, ultimately. Uh, trees just grow rampantly. You know, I didn't need to... There's just so much forest to be had. Can you get a chainsaw or something to just totally take down the woods at the end of the game? And then he deforested the entire place. I mean, that's how it works in Harvest Moon. You basically destroy all of the wildlife that originally existed there. Harvest Moon is just like this merciless game where anything goes. The original Harvest Moon is great, too. What is a problem later? Oh, like when you're trying to get tons of expansions or something? Hmm, I could see that. Just need a little bit more of this stuff. Blackberries are very good for you, aren't they? Apparently blueberries are the most nutritious, though. Killdozer should be endgame. Yeah, well, I'm kind of wondering, I mean, this seems like the type of game where you unlock some crazy stuff later on. Like, will you get just some crazy farm equipment that totally makes everything else useless? I like that. I, I like when they do that in games. Let me just have the rest of these. Cool. No, there's nothing like that? Are there mods? Oh, like a horse? Something like that. Horseberries. Horseberries? Is that a thing? I have no idea what... Boysenberries? I've had a boysenberry. Alright, anyway, now I'm just getting totally off topic. Anyway, yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. Stardew Valley... We got about through the first half of fall now, and I'm guessing this is going to divide up into like eight parts this final playthrough. It's taken a while to get through the year, but like I'm excited. Um, I'm learning now. It's it's a little bit more like it does feel a little bit grindier, but I guess that's because I'm pretty much going to do it all in one sitting. But yeah, here we are, fall, and it's still growing. <laughs>